What's up, everybody? It's good to see you guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. Monday, happy Monday to all those who are with us today. Um, want to give honor to God, man. God is so good. God is God is so amazing, guys. So, <clears throat> um, obviously, you guys have all heard that um, Priest Mari Mari is uh, had, was was stabbed by a Muslim um, for, and he and most, the Muslim accused him of insulting Islam and insulting the Prophet, and so that is why he showed up to the church just to put a put a blade to, to his throat. He was stabbed multiple times. You guys can go and see it. He was stabbed multiple times by the Muslim. Um, and the Muslim, and I'm, I'm gonna just tell you this right now, you know, he he's a real Muslim. He's a real Muslim. Yes, he's a real Muslim. For those of you guys who have not seen the footage, you guys can go. It's all around. Uh, his, the footage of him getting stabbed in his own church is, is right out there. <clears throat> and so uh, it's, it's crazy. And he did it with a smile on his face when they, when they held him and they caught him, had his face to the ground. He was smiling and said that he did it for Allah and the prophet. So that's Islam. That's Islam. Nobody should be surprised. Nobody should be. Uh, nobody should be shocked, like Allah. Don't be shocked. Don't be surprised. Don't be astonished, like Allah. Don't. That's Islam. Chapter nine, verse twenty-nine. Fight those who do not believe in Allah. Among the people of the book until they pay the jizya. That's what that's what uh that's what the Quran teaches. Whoever is causing corruption in the land, go and unalive them. Go and unalive them. What is this corruption in the land? Exposing Allah, exposing Muhammad. That's real Islam. I just want y'all to know that. That's real Islam. So don't be surprised. Muhammad, whoever says la ilaha illallah, those will be the ones whose blood is safe from me and your possessions are safe from me. But if you don't, then Muhammad coming for that blood. Sahih Hadith. So uh, here's the beautiful thing, though. All glory to God. The priest is in stable condition. He's fine and he's going to get better. He's fine and he's going to get better. So make sure you guys send out your prayers for Mari. Send out your prayers. Um, and pray that God continues to give him healing, gives him uh, a speedy recovery that he comes back stronger than ever and more encouraged than ever. Cause I know I am, I know I am. So that's that another note though, another note, because I want to, I want to put on top of this, what God is doing in 2024, just this year alone. And we're only in April. There have been so many people accepting Christ, accepting Christ, coming to Christ, whether they're Muslim, whether they're Hebrew Israelites, they have been coming to Christ. And literally, literally, I kid you guys not, right before I started this live stream, I was on the phone with a young Muslim. He actually showed up on my live last, I think last week or a week or about a week and a half ago, a little over a week ago, maybe. He was on my live and, uh, you know, he was honest and genuine and asked very good questions, very good questions and was honest. 
I just got done talking with him. Every, he, we, we were talking ever since. Ever since then, we was talking through Instagram, and we just got done talking on the phone again today, uh, right before I started this live, and he accepted Christ. He accepted Christ. He was going over verses, showing me verses that talk about Jesus being Lord, Jesus being the Savior, and you know how salvation is through him alone, and you know how how amazing Christ is, and how Muslims apologists like Uthman lie about the Bible, and you know, and so on. He just he said, I see it. He said, and I see it so clearly. And when I speak to you, I understand everything. I understand it. And he said that, you know, he even, um, I think it was last night uh, or two nights before, I think it was last night he said, he said that he, you know, he's been trying to kind of put it behind him and put it back, put it in the back, put it in the back of his mind. But everywhere he's been going, everything that he's been pulling up, Instagram, YouTube, has been a bunch of Christian content popping up on his feed now. And he's been looking at stuff and studying. He's been reading the gospel. <laughs> he's been reading the gospel and looking at how it is, how, how is one saved? And um, man, he, so he, he was up late in the night, uh, went back to sleep, missed his prayer, missed his prayer, um, didn't have the desire to pray at the time that he was supposed to pray. And said, it's time, it's, I want to come to Christ. He hit me up late in the night, late in the night. I was, it was like 2 a.m. for me. Hit me up late in the night. I want to come to, I, I want to convert. So we talked today and he accepted Christ. So glory to God, all praises to the most high God. Muslims can attack our priests. They can persecute us in these lands. Christians are being persecuted. Christians are being attacked, fought, um, you know, trying to be bullied, trying to be suppressed and oppressed, stabbed, shot, right? Kidnapped, like they did with our beloved priest here. But it doesn't work. We still have. Muslims every day realizing the truth of Christ. We have Muslims every day coming to the truth and realization that the triune God is the true God and there is none like him. And Allah in the Quran doesn't compare. That Muhammad in the Quran doesn't compare to Jesus. They don't compare. They don't compare to you. They don't compare. So all glory to the most high God. God is almighty. He is sovereign. And there is nothing that you can do to stop him. You can't stop the kingdom. Attack us if you want. Stab us. Shoot at us. Oppress us. The gospel is still being preached. And the Holy Spirit is still drawing hearts and regenerating spirits, saving souls. We will never stop. We will never stop. And as soon as the priest recovers, he'll be back on the pulpit, preaching some more and exposing Islam some more. Probably at a greater rate. You probably shouldn't have did it. He, Mar, he ain't nothing to play with. He's nothing to play with. You shouldn't have done it. Not, not, not that priest. <laughs> That's the wrong one. If you was going to do it, you should have did it. You should have really did it. You should have really got him. You should have, you should have left no question about it. He's out. You should have took him out because he's not the one to play with. He is not the one to play with. And you couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. So. All praises to God, protected the life of priest Mar, brought another Muslim to Christ today, 10 minutes ago. This, this stream started 10 minutes ago, so maybe I'll say, I'll say 13 minutes ago, about 13, 15 minutes ago, uh, 
Another Muslim came to Christ, rejected Muhammad, rejected the Quran. This is what this is what God does. So I said that to say this, ladies and gentlemen, stay faithful, stay obedient, stay patient, and be encouraged. God is not mocked. He is not mocked. He is not mocked. Amen. Heroes Workshop gave a super chat, says, praying for Bishop Mari, uh, Mar Mari, another cowardly Isla Islamist demonic attack against Christians, proving people are right again. Yep. Appreciate that, Heroes Workshop. All right, so you guys ready to get this in? Let's see what we got here. So we could talk about anything today. Is the Quran really the word of God? Is it really the word of God? I say nay. What say you? So if you want to join, you go and come on up. I'm going to start off with some TikTok guests. And uh, to see, let's see, I think we have TikTok guests already. Yeah. So I'm going to start off with some TikTok guests. Jesus is God. The Quran is false. Allah helped the true Christians. So uh, you guys want to go ahead and get it? Let's go ahead and get it, all right? Clement says, you are my hero. Man, glory to God. Glory to God. I just do exactly what the Lord has called me to do, my brother or sister. Yes, yeah, Clement, brother. So let's go ahead and get this started. <clears throat> Go ahead and share the screen here. Got to set this up real quick, ladies and gents. So just bear with me. But in the meantime, while you guys are doing that, while you guys are waiting for me to set this up, go ahead and make sure you have hit that like button so that you make sure that you are not kissing and venerating a black stone. Do not out yourself. If you have not hit that like button already, we know that you guys have all, are kissing and licking black stone. So don't do it. Don't do it. Don't you do it. Let's see what we got here. All right, all right, all right. Got to open this app, share the screen. You feel me? Go ahead and make sure my notifications are off. All right, all right, all right. Make sure you guys are hitting that like button, please, and thank you. It really helps us. We already got 1,100 people watching in the stream. Make sure, guys, that the likes match the viewership. Hear me clearly. It really helps push the live streams out when you guys are hitting the like button. So make sure you guys do that. We got almost 1,200 people in here already. We're not even 20 minutes in. We're not even 15 minutes in the stream yet. We got almost 1200 people in here. Glory to God, man. God is really growing the channel. Shake, can you do another video on Seven Day Adventist doctrine like the sanctuary with channels like mm, Advent Defense League? Uh yeah, definitely. Um I, I haven't seen Advent Defense League. I'll check them out. But uh definitely with um with the other brother who does the Seven Day Adventist channel because he's he's legit. Um, definitely going to have him back on again so we can go over some things for sure. Uh, yeah. All right. So let me go ahead and turn this around. We've got Muslims here. All right. Let me share my screen. Mm hmm. Go ahead and get it in, y'all. Yeah. All right, there we go. All right, super Muslim.
How you doing? Hello? Good. Yeah, hello. Perfect. Yes, I can hear you just fine, my man. How are you doing today? I'm good. You? I'm pretty good, man. Thank you for asking. I appreciate it. All right, so tell me, man, what you uh did you have something that you um, I didn't really I didn't really come here to like debate religion or anything. I just came because you said earlier that like you were saying that um like Muslims were like were like prosecuting Christians and like were the bullies, I guess, to Christians. Uh I no, know, like, what we're, made you say that? Like, well that? well, you have in these different lands where uh Christians are being persecuted in these Muslim countries and these Muslim lands. And so um this really happens it's a real thing you can just pull it up and look it up and you can see the type of persecution that happens among christians and uh and you can see for yourself and what i'm saying is, is that this is actually taught it's taught in islam to you know to subjugate it's taught in islam to fight the people who disbelieve uh first i mean isn't that first of all you say there's muslim countries that persecute christians but that's exactly the same thing for muslims too in other countries right? oh yeah you, you got christians going and unaliving muslims and kidnapping muslims i mean do muslims do that yeah uh, yeah i i mean i I literally, I literally have we literally have a video of a priest getting stabbed by muslims going into a church can you well, I mean, can you, you name can't... a can you name a christian that went into a mosque and uh, went and has stabbed or shot up before, the masjid what's that ever happened before though because you can't no you can't say not every radical muslim is an example for all muslims right well so i'm not saying that a radical muslim is an example of all muslims i'm saying that this rat the radical muslims are the true examples of islam the, i mean i, mean, I wouldn't say that because i would you said, you, you, you said that islam teaches us to kill those who disbelieve yeah but that you like you gave the verse without context at all really I mean, yeah, that's really what you did. Right, so, that, that right, verse, so let me give you the context. Applies. I got you, bro. Let me Wait. give you the context. I'm the, pretty sure that verse applies to war, though, right? No, the sure Christian. Well. No, the Christians were not at war with the with the Muslims. They didn't have any treaty treaty or war with the Muslims when Muhammad decided to go and and set out and march against the Christians after he conquered okay. Arabia. Right. Okay, then give. The, can you give the verse, please? Yeah, it's chapter nine, verse twenty nine, and if you want. We can go to the tafsir, Ibn Kathir, who gives the background of this verse. Thank you guys so much for the super chats. I appreciate you. But yeah, we can go to Ibn Kathir. He gives the background of this verse. And I'll show you. See, okay, okay, see, there you go. Um, I, I read it. I don't even need like Ibn Kathir or anything, but First of all, in Islam, Christians are considered people of the book, mm -hmm. not polytheists. It literally says, "If fight, fight those who do not believe in God." So basically, those were the those were the mushriks. Nope. The, poly, the Arabian polytheists at the time. No, why, why, why did no? Yeah, no. Why did you stop it there? Why did you stop there? It says, "Fight those who do not believe in Allah, nor the last day, <clears throat> nor what um you know." He's forbidden and stuff like that, or follow the right the or believe in the right religion, right? Among the people of the book, until they pay the jizya and feel themselves subdued, humiliated. You see how it says among the people of the book. Hmm? Yeah. Yeah. So you see how it's saying that. So these are believers. These are Jews and Christians that the Quran commands you to fight against and subjugate. Okay, but okay, I'm trying. All right, so sure. But like, where do you still get? I don't get how like you at the beginning you said that we're like we're the oppressors though. Yeah, wherever there are, the Muslims are majority. Um, if the if the Muslims have the numbers, they're going to oppress those who are not Muslims, and we see it happening all the time. We see it happening in, Mu in Muhammad's time. Ever happened to you? Say that again. I mean, as a as an American, I'm I'm assuming you're African American, right? I'm, I'm American, yeah. 
okay, has has Muslim oppression in America ever happened to you? No, they're not. They're not the majority. They don't have the dominant numbers, so they can't okay. oppress me. And America is a Christian country, true? No, it's not a Christian country, but it's the majority it, the of Americans ma are Christian, right? I wouldn't say that either. No. No, you wouldn't say that. No. All right, let's see what Google says. Oh, people can claim all they want. Like, uh, you know, uh, President Trump, he can try to claim to be a Christian all he wants. He's not a Christian. Or Biden. These people are not Christians. But here's what the not Christian? Uh, their beliefs and what they say and what they do. Interesting. Yeah, they go against the faith. But um, but here, here's the point, though, bro. The point is, is that Islam, no, no, like no, no, within, like, within no. Islam, hold on, let me say this. Within Islam, uh -huh. yeah. it teaches to oppress those who disbelieve. That's my whole point. That's it? That's my point. So the person who, who is attacking the Muslim, the Muslims who attack Christians or Jews because of their, because of their lack of, of belief, or even, even when Muslims attack other Muslims, you know, because there's that too. Um, they are, they're going with what the Quran says. They're not. I don't, I mean, I'm, I don't think most Muslims in this day and age go and attack other people because I, they don't believe. Well, I agree. This is, this is my thing, dude. Uh -huh. My thing is that most Muslim people that I come in contact with are better, uh -huh. are better than Islam. You guys are better than Muhammad, and you guys are better than Allah that teaches you to do these that's heinous opinion, things. Right? No, that's a fact. No, you're, you you're, can't. You, no, that's not a fact. You, you, you can't are. Give a fact on something that you're not like. What? That's like uh, if I give my opinion on Christianity, but I say it's a fact. That's literally what you're doing. Well, no, I'm, I'm, uh, no, my, you my, have to say it's a fact. well, no, my opinion is based on the facts. That's my my opinion. It's an educated, fact-based opinion. I'm not just. Talking out the side of my neck, you, okay, I, you, look, look, you, you yourself, super Muslim. Mm -hmm. What, what's your name, bro? My name's Avery. What's your name? All right, my name's Atif. Arthur. Atif. 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 Nice. Yeah. What, what does it mean? Uh, it means affection, kindness. Affection. Okay, cool. That's a dope name. So Atif, I can prove to you that you are a better moral example than Muhammad. Okay. I can, I can prove that to you. Okay, prove it to me. Okay, so for example, um, would you ever sleep with a nine-year-old girl? I mean, I would. I don't. No, I. Would, I mean, <laughs> not really, I don't want to expose myself because I'm. I'm not like honestly. Before I even get off, I'm not even of like. I'm not. I'm not eighteen. It's so, okay, like, but is it, but you still have sense. That, so yeah, that, yeah, it doesn't matter. You can. If I was a grown, if that... I was a grown man, uh -huh. if I was a grown man, mm -hmm. I mean, in this day and age uh, of as a twenty one century uh, human being, uh -huh. no, I wouldn't do something like that because that's not that's not common. And that's not normal, especially in America. Okay, so. Then that I mean, means I'm not. I don't really want to get to the Aisha well, debate because well, it's going to well, take a long we're, time. Well, we're not. No, it's, it doesn't take a long time. It's just simple. All I'm doing is proving that you are a better example for me to follow than Muhammad is. If so, if you're saying that it's not good to do today, then that means that Muhammad's actions are not a good example for you to follow today, right? Mm, not. I mean, not. Not really. What do you mean, not really? Because. Uh, like what? What type of action? The uh, the here's actions, he did, I'm, I'm, I'm he talking did, about this like, one specifically. The about, good actions. No, no, I'm talking. I'm talking about this specifically. Would you the action of marrying a six year old and getting with and sleeping with her when she was nine? Is that a good example to follow today? No, it's not. So you are a better example than Muhammad is. No, nah, not really. You are. I you 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 yeah. you you seem to be all right. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Um adopted children. Okay. Where, right? Let's say that you had an adopted son. You adopted a You're son. Bring up, uh, Zaid, right? of, You're course. Bring up Hizra, uh, of course. Of course. Of course. Okay. Would uh -huh. you would you marry the ex-wife of your adopted son? What's the context behind that though? The con oh <laughs> the context is worse. The context is Muhammad. Went to Zaid's house. Um, Zaid wasn't there, but his wife was there. 
Uh, what's her name? I forgot her name. Is it Zainab? I forgot her name. But his wife was there. Mama or Zaid wasn't there. And so, yeah, Zainab. Zainab was just there, you know, in her in her little blouse, looking all good in the sun. Muhammad noticed her and lusted after her, saw her beauty and was like, I want her. You know, if the Lord will let, let me, to, you know, give me this desire. And where did you get this from, though? Where did you get this from? From the tafsir and the hadith. Uh, can you please, like, is it okay if you put it on the screen? Yeah, sure. Hold on. Like, give me give me a second. I'm pretty sure um, I don't have it on hand. Let me get one of my brothers or sisters that I know has this. Hold on. Let me see. Give me one second, okay? I'll be right back. Mm -hmm. Let's see if someone has that source. Or anybody on YouTube, by the way, too. If you guys have that source, just hit me up. Message me. Uh, let's see. Okay. Whoops. Hold on. Let me not share the screen here. Here we go. All right. Hey, I need that hadith or tafsir that about Muhammad liking Zainab. Okay. All right. Okay. So let me pull it up on my laptop. Someone just texted me a link. Let's see here. By the way, excuse me. In the meantime, everybody, go ahead and hit the like button. Make sure you guys are supporting the stream. Make sure you guys hit the like button, uh, especially if you guys like conversations like this, you guys like engagements like this, go ahead and hit that like button. All right. So let's see here. So we got one down. We got a tiff who won't ever sleep with a little girl, marry a little girl and then sleep with her. Muhammad did that. So that's one thing that we see that um, that our friend here has a more moral better moral example of and now let's go ahead and get this other one all right so let me go ahead and uh, send this to myself all right um since you're back though right since we're talking about uh the zaid and the zainab thing so doesn't the quran literally explain why so prophet muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam made the married his daughter in law, ex daughter in law. Well, the Quran says that um, that Muhammad, that Allah gave him this ability, and so. Uh, I mean, it doesn't say ability. It just says oh, yeah, he gave this, her this permission, marriage uh -huh. so that there would be no blame. Well, well, yeah. I mean, and then and then he canceled adoption. Then he canceled adoption. Mean? So, like, you you can't adopt anyone. You you can't like give them your name. They have to. Yeah, I mean, uh, you can adopt. You just can't. They can't take your name, right? Nah, that's so. That's fosterage. You can foster a child, but you can't adopt them as your own. I mean, yeah. What's wrong with that? Well, that that that, that doesn't give the kids a family, or nor does it give the parents who want I kids mean, who can't have kids of their own. Of child, yeah. If you're taking care of somebody for their entire life, but you just didn't give them your last name, that's not that's not like. Well, it is because it, it is because they don't get an inheritance. No, they do. They get to keep no, their don't. inheritance and pass it on to their family. True no, or false? That's false. Uh, if you don't, How if you, false? if you're not in the family, you don't get an inheritance, bro. You have well, nothing. I mean, you have but, nothing to pass on. Pass it on to. Think about this though. All right, like I mean, I don't even like. I can't. I don't even need to use anybody example, but I can just use a general example though. Mm -hmm. If there's a child, come he comes like his, his father passed away. He he came from like a really like a royal family or something mm. his father passed away his mother passed away and then he gets adopted by some like a regular family and then they give him their name and then later on and then he grows up he has kids and now he's going by that family's name his grandkids are going by that family's name 
instead of his actual name to continue his lineage. Isn't that just basically breaking off a whole family, like family tree, whatever? Well, when you cut off, when you cut off adoption, that cuts off a family period. It doesn't even give a chance for parents who can't have kids to have a family and build a real family. You can't do it. You know, that's that's the sad thing about it. So I'm not cutting off adoption though. I mean, well, it did. It, it mean, did cut whatever, off adoption. However you want to, however, however you want to identify, mm -hmm. but it's allowing you to take children under your own, just not giving them your name. You're yeah, you're not, you're not, you're not, a, you're not allowed to adopt them. That is, it's terrible. It's an evil thing because, like I said, but, you're not okay. allowed to take to take a uh, to take um, kids and give them, you know, give them inheritance, build a real family with them. That's the problem, okay. bro. I have a question though. Can you foster children in Islam? Yeah, you can foster them. Okay, so why why is this, why I'm like I, I know we're here to debate, so I don't even want to get emotional or everything. But why are you just trying to make Islam seem bad though? I'm not. Like, I'm not. I'm you, not. Like, Islam, Islam, said, Islam is bad. I don't have to make like, it seem I, like I, anything. Like, I get that you're a Christian and like or like I don't even I wouldn't even say we're rival religions because Muslims don't act like this. But like you're trying to like why why can't you just say in Islam they don't let you take your adopted like. Uh, family's name. You're trying to make it seem like we don't like allow adoption, which is you really don't. Crazy to me. No, I, I, I think. Thank you for saying that. That's crazy, but that's what Islam is, bro. You can't blame me for quoting is for quoting your sources and telling you what your religion <laughs> okay, sure, does. Sure, sure, sure. We're you know allowed to foster, but we aren't allowed to adopt. You're not allowed right, to anyways, adopt. Yeah. Let's not get off topic, but could you bring whatever you're supposed to bring? Yeah. So they sent me the article here. Um. Mohammed Zaid and Zainab. Uh, thanks for the article, Scott. But I would like for like the direct sources, man. I ain't trying to go through a whole article on this thing. Man, be sending me entire articles. Like, here you go. All right. And uh, no offense, no offense to like, no offense to you or anything, but your followers, like these people in your comment section, don't worry about the really, comment section, bro. Don't worry about really the dumb, you, you, don't don't worry about the comment section, bro. I think they're pretty smart <laughs> yeah, and educated, no, I actually. I want them to know that. But I disagree. I, 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 I think that I think that they are pretty educated, bro. They know a lot. They know a lot. So, all right, do you know what the Islamic symbol is? Uh, yeah, that crescent moon, that pagan, that pagan symbol. Yeah. No, it's not. <laughs> okay. It's it's just a black flag. That's all it well, is. Well, bro, when you when you keep coming, keep coming, and I'll I'll show you all of the stuff. <laughs> I'll I'll teach like, you everything. It's not even a crescent moon or the star. It's just a black flag. Mm -hmm. So, anyways, just bring 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 your article, man. All right. Okay. Da, da, da. This was Zabe, who has been in an award, and the messenger of God purchased him before the prophethood. Damn it, him and adopted him as a son. Retain your wife for yourself. But you had hidden your heart was manifest. All right, yeah. He was to manifest of your love for her and of that should Zayd part. All right, here it is. So <clears throat> when we go to Surah chapter 33, verse 37, and we find it in the Tafsir. So let me go ahead and turn my ca camera around for you so that you can see it yourself. Okay, 33, 37. Oh. And it's in the Tufts here. It gives the background of this. Can you see the screen? Mm -hmm. Yeah, give me a sec. I'm, I'm looking it up myself. All right. I'm gonna make sure it's on the screen so that you can see it. Okay, uh, you can you can go ahead. I'll just read the tafsir uh, from my thing. All right, so this is Jello Lane. You can see it on the screen, right? Uh, yeah, I can see. Okay, so I'm just gonna go to the relevant part if that's okay. And so it says this was Zaid, right, who had been a prisoner of war before Islam. The messenger of God purchased him before his call to prophethood, and then 
manumitted him, and adopted him as his son. Retain your wife for yourself and fear God before divorcing her. But you had hidden in your heart what God was to disclose. He was to manifest of your love for her and of the fact that should Zayd part with her, you would marry her. And you feared people would say he has married his son's wife. Though God is worthier that you should fear him in all things. So take her in marriage and do not be concerned with what people say. So Muhammad, while Zayd, his son, was mm -hmm. married to, to Zainab, mm -hmm. Muhammad had feelings for his son's wife. Okay. Okay. Zayd then uh, divorced her and mm -hmm. then Muhammad got with her. Okay. All right. So there's a part though where I want to talk about where it is where it's a hadith that talks about specifically when Muhammad like like made made known his feelings for her because he he announced this. So let me just get that source ex for you exactly. But this one was good. Like this mm -hmm. one gives the background a bit. It talks about how Muhammad had feelings for his son's wife and and that he hid that in his heart and was afraid of what people would say. He was afraid that people would be like, oh, he married his son's wife. He married his son's wife. So to cancel yeah. that, to cancel that, mm -hmm. just, just to be like, don't even worry about that. God, God is letting you do this and then get rid of adoption. Does that sound pretty convenient to you that, oh, God Wait, said that can, I can do right, this? So basically what you're trying to say is, uh, a regular human being had feelings for another human being, but obviously, obviously it would seem indecent to marry uh, your your um your son-in-law, your son-in-law's son wife. Yeah. So they got divorced, which happens and all like and which happens mm -hmm. is part of marriage. They got divorced, mm -hmm. and he married her, which was a grown woman because he yeah. had feelings for her. But he got divorced because of Muhammad's feelings for her. He divorced her because of that. How, all right, how did they? What, what makes you say that? Well, oh, that's that's what I'm trying to find you. I'm gonna get you that source that shows right, yeah. that shows why. Because Muhammad okay. announced his feelings for her, and so then Muhammad or Zayd is like, okay, I'll I'll divorce her. That's when Muhammad says, no, keep your wife, keep her. Okay, right? If, like if, before before we get anything, if you like, mm -hmm. if you bring, can if, like, can you please bring the fact that uh, it was because of the prophet that they got divorced. But without that, without that fact, the whole story, if we're not being like petty or we're trying to be biased or anything, that story seems like that story does not seem like anything's wrong with it. If I'm being honest with you. OK, no worries. So 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 far, it sounds like there's nothing wrong with a man, uh, yeah, the, a man getting with his son's ex-wife. Ex-son. Well, no, I mean, well, well, no, his... first of all, he's, a, no, well, he's adopted and it's his mm -hmm. ex-wife. So there's but nothing. Any, I mean, so yeah, there's nothing. There's nothing wrong with that. I mean, hey, everybody has their opinions, but in my opinion, nothing wrong with that. But okay, all we, right, we, no worries. You can find the source now. You don't have to repeat. You don't have to repeat. Because right, no then I, I don't. Th what, what would what would this change then if I showed you this? You'd be like, oh, well, okay, that that just happened. Yeah. So what? Because I mean, as it stated, I mean, I I don't I can't give you a source for this, but I mean, from what I've heard, like I've listened to scholars. And they say, I mean, every prophet has made mistakes. I'm not going to deny and say my prophet didn't make mistakes. He was a human like everybody else. Mm -hmm. So, you, I mean, we can't just, just because, like, just because uh, he was the main, like, like he was the soul of Islam. So every mistake he made, we're about to just criticize him and have people in the comments, like, talk on my prophet like that. I can't allow that. So I would let, like, I want you to bring the fact that he's the one that caused this marriage, uh, like, that caused this divorce. Okay, so I need guys. I need, I need specifically the hadith or the tafsir that says that where where Muhammad um, said, "Oh, you know, she's beautiful and all that kind of stuff." Do you guys have that specifically? Like, you guys are sending me these long links that I'm not, I'm not going to spend this time going over. So, can you guys help me out a bit? I need, I need a link. Not a like, don't put it in the chat. Give me something direct.
that talks that shows where he was um where he was uh you know saying oh she's beautiful and stuff like that and 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 they heard him they heard all of that that's a, that's the one that I need I don't have that on my hand you guys are sending me stuff that like it's long and I'm I can't spend all this time going through on this live like this you guys you you feel me so Oh, yes. and not to like, not to um, just putting this out here. I don't want to seem like I'm running away or anything, but I seriously um, I run like I have like five minutes because at six o'clock I have to be somewhere. So yeah, just, just give like, me, give me a second. Is it if Muhammad? Da, 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 da. Trying to read through all of this, man, to see if they got the though the prophet desire though the prophet desire that they separate. So that he could marry her. All right, boom. This is what it is. What is that though? See, okay. What is that in? Scott, it looks like you know what I'm asking, but you're like, you sent me too much. I can't, I can't, I can't do it. I can't, I can't go through that. What's, what source is it that where it says that uh, Muhammad desired, desired the wife and so he divorced her? I need a quick, you know, straightforward link. I can't go through all of this. <laughs> All right, forget it. I give up. I'll just do it my way. <sighs> so let's see here. Let's see if this gives a direct link in here. Uh, keep your wife for yourself. Da da da. Concealed. Hence the abrogated verse of da da da. Okay. People used to call him Zinu, and this was a girl. We know that he was the adopted son. It's not what I'm asking for. By Allah, the return. We shall see the reason Zaid complained about his wife. Okay, what is this? And I supported when the when the idda of Zainab was over, Allah's messenger said to Zaid to make mention to her about him. All right. Uh, so Zaid went on until he came to her and she was fermenting her flour. And he said, as I saw her, I felt in my heart an idea of, of her greatness so much that I could not see towards her that Allah's messenger had made a mention of her. So I turned my back. Oh, there it is. Boom. There it is right there. Sahih Muslim. Let's see if we can pull this up directly. Ah. Uh, but there it is, Sahih Muslim, book 008, number 3330. Found it. Found it. I just had to read a little bit. I just didn't feel like doing all that. I could be lazy, but. You said book what? Like, can you can you just give me like the numbers so I can just I'm search a, up? I'm a, yeah, I'm gonna try to give you the exact one on sooner.com, but what it is, Sahih Muslim, mm -hmm. book 008, Number mm -hmm. number three 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 zero. Let's see if I can find this in soon. Three 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 zero. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
So let's, let's see. Is it pop up? Mm-hmm. It says it's really long, but I mean that long. Uh it says when the Idda of Zainab was over, Allah's messenger <coughs> said to Zaid to make a mention to her about him. Zayd went on until he came to her and she was fermenting her flowers and so what you gave me it, it, what you no, gave that's me the, after the, no that's the, the one no 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 watch Zay tells you why he divorced her he okay, said yeah. he he mentions what what happened what he did what caused him to turn against her read, read out loud for the rest of us because everybody hasn't seen it yet all right I'm gonna be all right it says Anas may Allah be peace with him but when the Idda of Zainab was over, Allah's Messenger said to Zayd to make a mention to her about him. Zayd went on until he came to her and she was fermenting her flower. Zayd said, as I saw her, I felt in my heart an idea of greatness so much so that I could not see towards her. Simply for the fact that Allah's Messenger had made a mention of her. Boom. So, so uh-huh. So, and then so, simply because of the fact that Allah's Messenger made a mention of her, right? Okay. And then he says, so I turned my back towards her. And I turned upon my heels and said, Zainab, Allah's messenger has sent me with a message to you. She said, I do not do anything until I solicit, with, uh, solicit the will of my Lord. That doesn't prove your point, though. Yes, it does. It proves the reason why. Wait, why, did, wait, why did, you just, did you hear what I just read? Or yes. am I like, okay, what did I even say? Can you just give me a what, 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 what's, what is the reason why? Zaid turned his back towards uh towards his back. He sent him a wife. message to go wait. He literally told him to go tell his ex-wife that wait, I'm pretty sure because that he mentioned her or like he had feelings for her, I guess if you want to say it like that. Mm -hmm. And he was too ashamed to look towards her because the prophet of the uh, the prophet of God sent him, so he turned his back. All right. What does okay. that have to do with them getting a divorce? Okay, so with with Muhammad sharing his feelings about his wife when it comes to Zainab, all of this talks about how, um, you know, Muhammad had his feelings for her and how later on this was mentioned. Let me, so we, we see, we see like the connection, the connection we saw in, in, uh, in Jalalain's Tafsir, we saw that, um, that Muhammad had feelings for his for his wife's uh, for this for excuse me for the wife of his son his adopted son he had feelings for her while they were married while they were married no yes what do you mean where did no? you see that where did you see that I just read it to you in the top here before I got you here wait. before we was here Muhammad had feelings I'm for sorry, her I'm sorry I'm not even like. Wait, what, is it? Do you have it on right, tab? So, so me, you can, like, can you just let like, me go tell back. Me? Let me go back to it. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Can, you, do. can you just tell me? Because what what we're reading right now, it literally says it yeah. says this this was after her idda. So this was what? How much? How long is the idda? Is it a month or three look, months? Or look, something let like me show you. It's three months, and it is three months. But it's, watch this. It's, look, it's three months, right? But look, so let me let me take let me divorce. take you back to the tafsir that said no, it. I just I just want you to I just want you to say no no Three Re look retain your wife retain your wife for yourself and fear mm -hmm. God before divorcing her, okay. but you had hidden in your heart what God was to disclose. Okay, He was to manifest of your love for her, uh huh, and of the fact that should Zaid part with her, you would marry uh -huh. her. So okay. before they split, Muhammad uh -huh. had feelings for her already. Okay, yeah. You think that's cool what? to have feelings for your son's wife? Even why are while we going? Married? Why wait? Why are we going? You're going back because you asked me to of... show you this. You denied this, so I'm showing that, you this that, again. Yes, and you showed me that, and that has nothing to do with the fact of my, um, the prophet playing a part in getting them broken up. So okay, so you you like so I'm not, uh, until I'm not, look, I, I'm not it's okay. It's okay. Here, I, 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 I hear you. No I'm going to I'm going to put the no verse. I'm going to put it up later. I'm going to put it up later. I'm going to need time to to find exactly what I'm looking for. 
But specifically here, so you have no problem. You have no problem with Allah. Uh, you got to echo, bro. You got to swipe out. You got to you got to swipe out the app and then come back. You don't have to. You don't have to kill the app, but just swipe up, swipe out, and then come back because you have an echo. So I thought it happened you... and come back. Okay, sounds like it's okay now. Swipe out of the app no, no, back. yeah, you have an echo, bro. Swipe out the oh, app and come back. There you go. Oh, he just completely left. I thought that Hadith said exactly what I thought it said, but it didn't. But the yes, tough series uh, saying it. All right, so so you're okay with a father having feelings for his son's wife while they're married. You're you don't think there's anything wrong with that. Okay. Do I do I not think there's anything wrong with that? Mm -hmm. Uh do I think that's a little like do I think first of all, adopted son and a, as a grown woman, do I think that's a little weird? Cuz it's not his son, it's an adopted son. But do I think that's a little weird? Um I'd say I'd say that's a little weird, but do I think also that that's human? I mean, yeah, that's human. We're not gonna criticize somebody for being human, are we? You think that's human? That's fine. An adopted and, son. And do you, that's fine. A grown woman. Do you, a man do you think having that, uh, feelings? Wait, is a man having feelings for a woman weird? Uh, it's weird to have feelings for your son's wife. That's weird. Wouldn't you agree? All right, sure. You think that's weird? All right, cool. All right, that's weird. Good. But where, it's not, where, it's not okay. just weird; it's wrong. Okay, let's not get let's not let's not run away from the point here. This is the point. The, the point. The, the whole point was I told you to show me. I specifically asked you. This is the where entire point, thing, bro. Where? Wait, listen, listen, because I really don't have time. Because I swear to God, you're wasting my time. I no, no, you're wasting time. my time. I showed I you. you me, these are two things, dude. These well, are two things that you won't, well, you wouldn't do said, that Muhammad would do. These are two Brother, things. Listen, I just gave you two things that, that Muhammad did that you yourself oh wouldn't do. God. That even you say is wrong or weird. But that's not that's not what we're talking about. Okay, what, what were we talking about to start this off? Does anybody remember? Oh my god. Does anybody remember what we were talking we about? We were not talking about my two points. I literally just asked. Wait, what, you. what two points? What two points am I even did I you even just mention? said you just said we were you just said that you gave you're trying to give me two points of things that Muhammad would do that you wouldn't do. So what have been what has been my entire purpose by showing these two things? That I'm Muhammad that's by, not the that, question with I Aisha asked, that's and not, then Zayn. That's not the question I asked. No. What, what was question. the reason why we're here? Wait, what what question did I ask? No, let me what, let me let's be honest. Let's be honest. What did I ask? You're dude, you're a child. You're acting dumb now. Don't act dumb. Don't what? do this. Don't do this. Okay. Wait, no, no. Can what we is the reason question? why we're here? Do you not, even remember? Do you okay. even remember? All right. Well, what? Do you remember why we got here? Yes, I do remember. Okay. Tell me, why did we even get here? Because you, we, first off, we started from when I first joined the live, we talked about how all of a sudden Muslims are the oppressors now that you said in your opinion. And then uh, we went to, you're talking about Aisha, but you're like, oh no, let's not get into that. And then you talked about how uh, you talked about how Muhammad is not a good example for Muslims and that we're better than him. Then you tried to give me an example, and then you came here to use this as an example, but we can't even finish the debate because you're not answering my question. Am I wrong or right? You're incorrect. Okay, how am I incorrect? Tell me. We got here. Because I uh -huh. said, I can prove to you that uh -huh. you are a better moral example. You're better morally okay. than Muhammad is. You is said, no, you I can't. Said. I said, yes, I can. For example, okay. would you ever sleep with a little girl? You said, yeah, okay. you know what? In today's time, I wouldn't do that. Well, so that's not a good example for you to follow today. You admitted that. I'm like, okay, boom, that's one. Let me show you okay. another thing. Would you okay. marry your, your son or adopted son's ex-wife? And this I, is why we're here. That's why. Okay. So listen, though, we're talking about that. We didn't even finish this. And I asked you, can you give me the I the whole reason you have your computer showing your computer screen is because you said you showed me the source 
of where the prophet was the literally exact the main reason why they got divorced. Yeah, so you go. You, watch this. Things. You ready? So this is this is in Al Tabari, chapter thirty three, verse thirty seven. This is his tough This is in what? This is Al Tabari. Al Tabari. <sighs> I'm just looking at what he says here. It says, uh, "Oh, well, what's the source, please?" Al Tabari, chapter thirty three, verse thirty seven. Chapter 33, verse 37. So it says, his remembrance of his, of, of his prophet, may God's prayers and peace be upon him as, as a rebuke from God to him. Remember, O Muhammad, when you said to him, whom God has bestowed with guidance and you have bestowed upon him with freedom, meaning Zaid bin Haritha, the servant of the messenger of God, may God's prayers and peace be upon him. Why? And peace be upon him. Keep your wife on you and fear God. So Allah is rebuking him, rebuking Muhammad for telling Zaid to keep his wife. He then says, this is because Zainab bint Jahash, as mentioned, saw the messenger of God. May God be, my God bless him and grant him peace. And she liked it while she was in the slings of her master. So he put in Zaid's soul her hatred when God knew what had occurred in the soul of his prophet. So he wanted to separate from her. So he mentioned that. To the messenger of God, may God's prayers and peace be upon him. Zaid and the messenger of God said to him, keep your wife. Keep your wife would like for you to have become clear so that he marry her and fear God and fear God and what is obligatory on upon you regarding your wife. Is this a website? Because I don't, I can't find what you're reading, honestly. Have you ever heard of Al-Tabari? I've heard of it, but I've never read it. Though. Okay, so you have Al-Tabari. He has a tough seer. Uh -huh. uh, you can probably go, I don't know if, do they have it on altafseer.com? But I'm on Quran ksu.edu where they have you know different top series they got Ibn Kathir they got a bunch of different ones and so uh, Al Tabari is giving a little bit more detailed background on this verse than, than uh, Jalalain did okay he said so 33 it looks like uh, let me make sure I understand this correctly this is because Zainab saw Muhammad and she liked it while she was in the slings of her mat of his of his master. So he put in Zaid's soul her hatred when God knew what had occurred in the soul of his prophet. So he wanted to separate from her. So he mentioned that. So Zaid wanted to separate from Zainab because of Muhammad. Okay, I'm on the website. It says, can I, should I read it or? I mean, I just read it. If you want to read it, go ahead. I mean, I just read it. Because I, like, I just, I don't know. Dude. Maybe uh, I'm just, maybe, it's, I don't know. I'm, I'm showing I'm it on the screen. I'm not looking at it from a Christian mindset. No, you just got to read it. You don't got to have a, any like, type no, of mindset at all. Just read it. I, like, I'm reading it. This is not the first time I've talked to somebody about this, and I'm reading it. Uh -huh. it's, just, it's like, like I don't get... All right, well, like, what are you trying to say here? I'm Can trying to... Me, like, uh, okay. Yeah, uh -huh. what are you trying to say? I just want to know, what are you trying to say? Okay, I am saying that you are morally superior than Muhammad. Muhammad was okay. not a good man. He slept yeah, with... Yeah, a, what, he, what are you trying to say his from relations, the text? What are you trying to say from Okay, the from the text... This shows mm -hmm. that Muhammad was the reason why they got divorced. Because he had a hidden love for her? Because he had hidden love with her. Zayd knew, Zay knew about that and uh -huh. therefore wanted to divorce Zaynab. Zayd knew about that? Zayd knew about it. Look, I'll read it again. Uh huh. So um, this is because Zaynab saw the messenger of God, may Allah you know, bless him and stuff. And she liked it while she was in the slings of his master. So he put in Zaid's soul, who put in Zaid's soul? God did. 
God put in Zaid's soul her hatred when God knew what had occurred in the soul of his prophet. What happened in the soul of his prophet? That he had feelings for Zainab. So he wanted to separate from her, Zaid. So he okay. mentioned that. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, because it, I mean, I, I'm looking at another tafsir and it already says that the divorce was prophesied. Like uh, Allah had already decreed for the divorce to happen. Okay. Well, it's in the Quran, so that's what would be the understanding. Yes. All right, yeah. All right, sure. That's, I mean, sure. That's, that's exactly but, what you read. Yeah, okay. Thank you. So, so I wasn't, uh, li so, I I mean, wasn't lying. Getting at? So, I mean, yeah. So, if, if the divorce was already, if Allah had already decreed, ah, the divorce, see, I told you it's going to come up with an excuse. I mean, okay, sure. What do you want me to say? I, I want you to be honest and just acknowledge uh -huh. that this is wrong. Muhammad is the cause of his son getting divorced and then marries the, the ex, his ex, the son's ex-wife. That's wrong. And he's the one who caused the division. And it says that here that God put this, this hatred in, in the heart of, of, of Zaid. That's what the tafsir says. That's 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 tough, man. But wait, no, 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 wait. Okay. All because Muhammad wanted her. Wait, but, okay, because you said, you said in the tafsir, it already said that God had put hate in her heart or something like that? In Zayd's heart. It says, may God's grace be a peace upon him. Because um, I don't know when this event happened, but it says... It's happening before the divorce, obviously. No, no, because I'm reading a different thing. And it says literally in the like in their marriage, they've are, they, they's always had a tough marriage. It's literally... It's a tough scene. You, yeah, yeah. You're reading an article? Uh, no, it's not an article. It's on a, it's on a website. Yeah, what, what is it? What are you reading? It's exactly? on Quran.com, actually. Tough scene is a whole... Like, it's a whole literally... Yeah, who, 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 like, who's because I'm reading uh, the tough, like, it, it should have a name. I don't know. Let me see. Go down. <laughs> now, it's, it's not, it doesn't, it's just explaining the ayahs. It said they always had a tough marriage. She's had a sharp tongue and her just, they didn't merge and match with each other. Satan as Zaid used to complain about the sharpness of her tongue, the air she assumed because of her inborn lineal nobility and her failure to listen to him. On the other side, the Holy Prophet was informed through revelation that Zaid would divorce her. So, are you still there? I'm I'm listening to you. I don't I don't yeah, see what so. what any of that has I'm to do to with the so issue like, here. So how can you how so there you're trying to blame you're trying to blame the Prophet for their failed marriage? Uh, yes, their divorce happened because of Muhammad. Um. Muhammad wasn't, or Zaid wasn't about to divorce her unless, sure. uh, uh, with, without the mention of Muhammad having feelings for her. That's, that's what you think. Bro. That's what it says. It's not what that's I think, it's just what I'm reading, bro. All right, cool, man. So, uh, so would you do this? Would I do what? Uh, would you uh, make mention of your feelings for your son's wife and then, you know, them get divorced and then marry his marry his Wait, uh he, his ex-wife. Never made mention of his feelings. He said it said he kept his feelings hidden though, right? It says here he kept it hidden. Okay. So it says because, here, it says here. Uh -huh. Um so he put this is talking about God. So he put in Zaid's soul her hatred when God knew what had, had what had occurred in the soul of his prophet. So he wanted to separate from her, so he mentioned that to the messenger. All right, and then Zaid told him. Uh, so Zaid came to him, was like, "Okay, I'm, I'm gonna break up with her." Right, and then Muhammad responded to him, saying, "Keep your wife and fear God." So Zaid knew. Zaid knew, and as a response. He was like, okay, I'll, I'll break up with her. You, you, you can have her. I'll, I'll break up with her. But Muhammad says, no, keep your wife for yourself and fear God. And then that's when suddenly the Quran verse comes and says, uh, Allah has permitted this for you. You know, why would you hide what's in your heart? Because you fear what people would say. It's tough, man. I mean, I don't know. You don't think I'm, I'm thinking of no, nah, because I'm thinking about it, right? Because mm -hmm. from what I've put together, 
but then at the same time, like can not nah, because I don't want to make it seem like I'm like I'm I'm already like I'll let you win the debate. But there's, I, I mean, there's sure. no there's no winning here, bro. I'm not trying to. I mean, I'm could, not trying could to. Could you like? Could you? I'm not trying I get to. My I'm point, not trying to you beat you, man. Before I get to, before I get to my point, could you like show your full screen though? Because I don't want to. Okay, so it's actually a website though. Yeah, here's the here's the website. I don't know if you can kind of if you can see that clearly. But, okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 Sure. Sure. Because I didn't want to make. I didn't. I just. I did not. I had a feeling that it was like a made up source or something. <laughs> nah. It's nah, not a made no, up no offense source. to you. No offense to you. No offense to you. <laughs> no. I mean, I I understand why you might say that because it might it it, it doesn't sound good. You know. I understand. Yeah, yeah. I understand. But anyways, no. But what I'm trying to say is from what I've been, from what I've got from Quran.com from the Tasfi that I run here, they had a tough marriage. They 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 had a like a tough marriage where. Like both of them couldn't even go well together, and then at the same time, the prophet also had feelings for her. Lies and so excuses. They're already, on the, they're already on the verge of divorce. That's the right? excuse. Already... That's the excuse, bro. Okay, how's that excuse? But but even so, let let's say uh -huh. let's say your son is having problems with his wife, right? They're having problems. Mm -hmm. They're in a really rough patch. Um, do you think that that would be a it would be righteous of you to kind of kind of make known a little bit your your feelings for her just because they're struggling as as the as the father you should be involved in them getting right them getting their stuff together mending the the whatever is broken between them and stuff like that right you should be trying to hold them together not adding to the separation like this, if if anything, if if they were struggling, right? If they was having all these problems, then this was the last straw. Like this was the little straw on the camel that broke the camel's back, so to speak. Uh huh. Uh -huh. And that's that's just well, not right, bro. You keep you keep, I, I'm like I don't know. Maybe I'm just slow. Wait, <laughs> you keep saying you keep saying that. Um, you keep saying that the prophet made his feelings known to Zayd. I know I asked this over again. But can you literally, can you just put your screen on where the prophet literally told him that he had feelings for his wife? Well, so. Or right did, here, did he not tell him or did he tell him? So this is what I'm reading, bro. This is this is what I'm reading, okay? Well, before you, can you just answer my question? I am can answering. I'm going to show you what, exactly where I'm, what I'm reading. This is what is I'm this reading. Is this a yes or no? This is what I'm reading. It's not just a yes or no. I'm going to just show you. I'm going to just read. I don't, I'm not going to no, give you my no. opinion. This is what it says, dude. It okay. says, but you gave me your opinion earlier. No, I didn't. I gave facts. I just read. Okay, so he okay. put in Zaid's soul her hatred when God knew what had occurred in the soul of his prophet. So he, so because of this, he, Zaid, wanted to separate from her. So he mentioned that. Okay. Mm -hmm. To the so he mentioned that to the messenger of God. And the messenger okay. said to him, keep your wife for yourself. Okay. All right. Um, so so like, there, there's a, there's a clear bro. Cause I don't, I don't, I don't have like, it on no, here. I'm going to show did, it later. You I promise not, you. You did not show anything. You didn't prove anything. With I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what to do with you then. I don't know what to do with you. You didn't prove. Wait, okay. like, no. Cause I, I, maybe like, maybe it's me, but people in the comments, any Muslims in the comment or anybody, mm -hmm. did he, did, did the article just say, did the article just say that the prop can can you like it was it placed in Zaid's heart, bro? The, the God did that or the prophet did that? Allah did it. It's placed in Zaid's heart. Zay Zainib saw Muhammad, liked her, uh, liked him. Muhammad liked her back. Uh Zaid comes. Allah knows what Muhammad wants. So he puts it in the heart of, of Zaid to break up with her. To leave her because of that, goes to the prophet and says, "You can have her." The prophet says, "No, keep your wife," because he doesn't. He's in. He's embarrassed about what people would say if he got, if he hooked up with her. What are you saying? Hooked up, man. That's marriage. It's not a hookup. Bro. Oh, listen, like, man. And, that's and, disrespectful. And, bro. And in Islam, in Islam, man, it's. it's I mean, it's, at least have sex. some respect. But anyways, because it doesn't seem like you have decent respect for anybody, but. I don't. I don't sure. have. I, I'm gonna be real I'm, with you. I don't. I don't have respect for Muhammad. I don't. He I has. Mean, that's cool. That, I mean, that's. I don't really care. I don't. Yeah. You shouldn't tell me. I'm, I'm not I'm, God, I'm, bro. I'm, I'm telling you. I don't care, honestly. Yeah. Keep God. God yourself. doesn't have any respect for him either. 
That's what you think. That's what you think. All right, man. I can well, say I, God I, doesn't I, have any respect for you guys because you guys fine. are all going to hell. That's but fine. I'll see you guys. I, I appreciate you coming through, man. Fine. I hope you that you submit to the truth, man, and stop running. Stop running and submit to the truth. See who's next. Yo. How you doing, man? You believe the Quran is from God? Yeah, yeah, of course. Why do you believe that? Um, well, the Quran claims to be from God. Um, it has no flaws. Um, yeah, what do you, it has no flaws. What do you mean by it? What do you mean by it has no flaws? Like it has no like contradictions has, or anything? It has... Yeah, it has. Yeah, it's it's consistent. It has no contradictions. It has no errors. No, um, just it's just perfect. You know. I strongly disagree with that. I've seen some errors. Um, would you like to show me? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. I'll I'll show you one. Um, I'll show you a really clear one. Like this is like, you can't play games with this. If you go to, you got a second device on you? Uh, no, nah, not really. No? Okay, no worries. But if you go to, uh, I'm, I'm going to put it on my screen. If you go to chapter 35, verse 18, it says something very, very clear and explicit that you can't even get confused about. So it says here in chapter 35, verse 18, it says, and no bearer of burdens will bear the burdens of another. And if a heavy laden soul calls another to carry some of its load, nothing of it will be carried. Even if he should be a close relative, you can only warn those who fear their Lord unseen, unseen and have established prayer. And whoever purifies himself only purifies himself for his soul, not anyone else's, all right? And to Allah is the final destination. So this okay. says, no bearer of burdens will bear the burdens of another. Even if a close relative uh, asked to bear to carry your sins for you, they couldn't do it. You can only carry your own sins, your own burdens. Okay. Make sense? Wait, wait hold on, hold on. Pause, pause. All right. Um, and I know where you're going. I know where you're going exactly. And right. I've and I've seen this before. Okay. You're gonna go to the mis the the, the ones that mislead, right? Mm, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Go on. I knew it. I know. I know your steps. Go on. All right. Good. So so you know the other verse. The other verse says. There's, there, yeah. There's a difference. Okay. What's the difference? This one and this. The, do you know the context of this? This is simply this no one, one can the bear one, the sins of anybody. One that is misguidance. Hold on. There's one that, uh, what's it called? Uh, uh, someone that misguides people, mm -hmm. and this one is, it, it is it, this is not mis misleading people. That that one is the ones that mislead people. These ones are not the ones that are misleading people. So everyone's gonna be accounted for what they've done, and on on the deal, we believe that unless you've been done unless wrong, you've been misled, right? Yeah, misled. Um, say for example, um. Yeah, uh, things can happen, bro. You, you, there's a lot of things that uh, Allah mentions of, of the unseen. Okay, so so you're right. The other one mentions how people who mislead others will bear the burdens of others. That is correct. This says, yeah, and this says, no bearer of burdens will bear the burden of another. So which one is it? Will Will some people be able to bear the burdens of others, or will no one be able to bear the burdens of another? I see what I see what you're trying to do, but you say I have to see the context there, bro. Break it down. We already know we are you already broke it down the so context. The, we already understand. So the other so, yeah, the, so this mm -hmm. this verse is talking about everyone be accountable for that and no bear, bear bear the burdens of another. Yes, while the and other verse the other says one, that. A bearer of burdens will bear the burden of another as long as they've misled them. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, that's misleading though. I so it's a contradiction. So it shows you, 
Yeah, no, 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 that's not. Dude, it's either bro. either no bro, bearer of burdens on, can bear the burdens of another, or some bearer of burdens can bear the burdens of another. Which one is it? Come on, man. Come on, you, you man. Is that what you're trying to do, bro? That's not what you're trying to do, man. Come on. Saying is that uh, what you're trying to do? Come listen, on, man. It doesn't listen, help. I like misleading. This that one that, that context is misleading. This context is uh uh what's it called? It's absolute. Isn't like it? someone say for example, me and you. No, the, uh, you, obviously you say, yeah, like you don't have to explain, bro. bro. You don't I'm have to explain gonna, yeah, the verses. You don't have to explain nothing. The verses are very clear and plain. You don't have to keep repeating what the verse is saying. We know what it says. So this says, no bearer of burdens will bear the burdens of another. None. No bearer of burdens. No bearer of burdens will bear the burden of another. Let me ask you this. The people that have misled others, do they bear their own burdens? Are they bearer of burdens? Yeah, they will be bearing burdens, yeah. So they will bear, they're bearer of burdens, but they will also be bearing burdens that are not their own, Specifically correct? for them. Yeah, yeah, that's that's extra punishment. Exactly. So not only will they be bearing their own sins, but they will be bearing the sins of those that they've misled. So they, they themselves are bearer of burdens, yet they will be bearing burdens of others. Ooh. This says okay. no bearer of burdens okay. will bear the burden of another. None. No what? Nobody. They can, both can't be true. Okay. You know? Do you know how the Quran came down? <laughs> can you hear me? Logic. Okay, so the Quran came down in a 23-year period. So you're expecting just one time the Quran came down, like the Torah? <laughs> What's going on, man? You already gave up? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just showing you, like, there's, there's verses that are abrogated, bro. So you're you just you're trying to make like a big like a big contradiction. It's not really happening, really, man. I can't lie to you. <clears throat> Hello. How you doing? How's it going, my friend? Pretty good. Thank you for coming through. You believe that? Yes, of course. Runs from God. Yes, of course it is. Why do you believe that? Uh, many reasons. Um, I would say that uh, it has a lot of miracles, right? substantiated miracles that we can testify today. Okay. Like, uh, like what? Let's go through that. Like what? Like a lot of the prophecies in the Quran. There's okay. many, you know, okay. and we, we can speak about that. Okay. But if you want, I can also address the question that you had for the previous brother that just <laughs> kind of ignored you. <laughs> I'm not sure, like... Sure. That if, response, if, but... if you want, yeah, you can you can speak to it. <clears throat> sure. So, I saw the first verse. Uh, I'm not sure about the the second one that you're implying that there's a contradiction with. Do you mind sharing that? Yeah, that's uh, chapter sixteen, verse twenty-five. Okay, I'm gonna pull it up alongside as well, but you can read it if you want. If you want. Yeah. Verse two, you said. Verse twenty-five. Twenty-five. You sound disappointed, man. What's up? What's going on? Uh, I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm good. I was just thinking. Oh, yeah. I was. Just, I was just thinking. But yeah, here it is. Yeah. You want me to read it, or do you want to read it? It says that they may bear their own burdens in full on the day of resurrection, and some of the burdens of those whom they misled without knowledge. Unquestionably, evil is that which they bear. Sure. Okay. What's your problem with that? So my problem is the other verse is absolute. It says no bearer of burdens will bear the burdens of another. This verse says some people yeah. will bear the burdens of another. 
Uh, I, I mean, okay, I disagree with that understanding of okay. the verses. Okay. So the first verse, uh, I think you understood it perfectly fine. Mm -hmm. And I agree with that understanding, which is that every person, uh, Muslim or non-Muslim, any, any human being will bear the burdens of their own sins. So if you commit an action that's sinful in the eyes of God, you'll be held accountable for it on the day of judgment. Sure. I think we can both agree with that, right? Yeah, that's what the 3518 says. Yep. It's pretty clear. Yeah, but do you do you I'm asking if you personally agree with that too? What? I'm curious. What? With what? If if someone commits a sin that they will be held accountable. Yeah. Okay. In the eyes of God, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then the second understanding uh of of the the chap chapter 16, Surah An Nahl, right? The chapter of the bee. Uh you're saying that um that they will be actually taking on extra sins of the ones who they misguided, right? So, like, what do you understand of that verse? Uh, it's pretty simple. They will bear their yeah. own burdens. They will be responsible yeah. for their own sins. And mm -hmm. they will be responsible for some of the sins that, uh, that people commit that they've personally misled. So, like, for example, if right. I misled you into going to rob a bank and you go and rob yep. that bank, that sin will mm -hmm. be placed on me. Yes, yes. Uh, and I think that that falls in line, right? Uh, uh, the, the translation in English uh, goes to say that they will also take the sins of someone else, right? Uh, but in the, in the Arabic, it says, awzara ladina yadallunahum. So it's like the they will also their sin is equal to the sin for the one like for the ones that they have misguided pretty much okay so no. i think it makes perfect sense it says that, that they will bear their own yeah. burdens in full so their own burdens are yeah. separate from the burdens that they will be uh bearing from other people yeah 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 so that's, yeah, a, the, that's yeah. a contradiction yeah. i don't see that because like you said, like, okay, so here, here's, a, here's an example, right? Let's say, for example, that uh, if I rob a family of their savings or something, right? Mm -hmm. so let's say I rob a family and I rob them to a level of, uh, of uh, to, to, to such a level, to such a degree that they can't afford their children to like go to school or, or have food or et cetera, right? And because of that, the children then grow up to be poor and they start, you know, robbing other people. It would make sense then that my sin isn't just of robbing someone, but it's also of kind of pushing someone to start doing sins, committing sins of their own. Does that make sense? Did you mislead them personally to do those specific sins? Yes, you did, actually. You, you no. did by yes, you did. It's a causal chain, right? Just no. like the causal it's chain. Not the causal chain it's not the causal chain here. It's not the causal chain here. It is a causal chain. What explain to me how it isn't? You no. Know, so this says that you will bear the burdens of those who you have misled. I mean, without knowledge. So yeah, you exactly. have so you have taken advantage of certain people and have yeah. caught and have led them into sin. You taught them. Sure. So, sure. So the Quran makes an even better example than mine, right? I'm just trying to give you another example to give you a different to give you a, a, like maybe a broader perspective, but. The Quran specifically is talking about people who who have uh, misled people in the worship of God. So they've misled, the, they misrepresented God, let's say, or they pushed a specific religion that they know in their hearts wasn't true, right? And they've personally misguided them. So they're doing it with the full intention of doing that. So right. let's say they misguide a person and then they have children and they continue worshiping whatever it was that they misguided to begin with, then of course they will hold the sins of those that were misguided as well. Got it. it so be. so yeah. when that person has been misled into worshiping another God other than the true God, that sin of idolatry, right? Or yeah. false worship yeah. or shirk would be yeah. placed on the person who misled them in the first place, right? Yes. That's okay. what the verse is saying. Yeah. Exactly. So yeah. So they will be bearing someone else's burdens as well as their own. While the other but verse, it's also the other verse their says, own. It's like saying, no, no, you're like, right. No, you're, sorry it's, it says, ahead, it, yeah, it says that they will bear their own burdens in full. It says in full. So yeah. their own burdens will be taken care of by, you know, they will, they will handle their own burdens to completion, to completion. Yeah. 
And in addition to their own burdens in -hmm. completion, they will also bear others' burdens that they've misled. The problem there is the other verse is absolute that says no bearer of burdens will bear the burdens of another, which is a contradiction. Sure, sure. Uh, like, I don't want to interrupt you or anything, but like you, you, you already stated that, and, and I and I heard you, and I'm I'm trying to explain now. Like, let me let me give an example, right? Um, if you so, so the, the this misguiding, right? Let's say you're saying that they haven't personally misguided the the future generations of those people that they originally misguided. No, that's not what this is about, bro. If we just keep it okay, super yeah. simple. Let's say. I misguided so you into shirk. You're not allowing me to explain. Well, no, <laughs> like, you're you're using an example that's not that's not to the verse. It's, it's literally not, what the verse is talking about. It's talking about someone. No, it's, it's not. It's not a. It's not about God. people having kids and then because of that they no. It's talking about you. That's what misguiding what a person says. individually, bro. Okay, sure, sure. Okay, that person. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Let's say let's take the literal meaning the literal word for word meaning because it could mean not just that direct person it could also mean anyone else that sure that but they will be bearing but, someone okay. else's burdens that's a contradiction uh no it's it's not a contradiction my friend because look if i if i assist in in a robbery right if i assist in a robbery just because i assisted right doesn't mean that uh i won't take the the accountability of fully robbing the bank right there were other people involved so i will take the burden of that too i will take the I will hold the sin of that. Mm-hmm. Does that make sense? Now, right. now, let, now so, let me let me yeah. ask you this in this way. Yeah. Just keep the robbing sure. bank example. Let's say sure. I taught you how to rob a bank. I taught yes. you to rob a bank. I gave you a plan and everything like that. But I didn't mm-hmm. go rob the bank. I was nowhere. When you went to go do it, I was nowhere near you. Huh. Um, I was doing my own thing. I just taught yeah. you how to rob the bank and you went to go rob the bank. Yeah. That sin of me robbing the bank, I was misled by you, right? you would also have to like like kind of convince me that I should do it as well right because that's the part of mis- misleading it's not just giving information yeah yeah i, I convinced uh, yeah I yeah i convinced yeah. you to go rob a bank me. and yeah. i taught you how to do it i convinced you to go rob yeah. a bank i myself didn't assist you i didn't do anything i wasn't in the car i was nowhere near this crime yeah. scene but yep. i taught you i mean i convinced you to go rob a bank i misled you into that sin of theft right yeah, yeah, yeah. So your sin of theft of robbing the bank will be placed on me since I misled you into doing that. Yes, yes. That's what Allah is saying. Yes. Okay, that's in direct contradiction with the other verse. How, how my, you just you just involved yourself in misleading someone, and you're saying you're saying that one of the verses says that any sin which includes misleading, that's a sin. Misguiding is also a sin, right? Let's say you commit that sin. You're saying that because you're being held accountable to it uh, for it then that's a contradiction how is that a contradiction the contradiction is is that the other verse says you will not be held accountable for anybody else's sins only your okay. own right. this says so, so, you will be held accountable even, even, for some people's yeah, sins that sorry, you misled yeah yeah so even okay let, let's take the let's take the the analogy that we were using the robbing the bank just really quickly even in the court of law we all agree we all we all vote on this that a person that would convince someone else to rob the bank would also be held accountable in the court of law, and they would still be no, they partially wouldn't. involved. Yes, no, they would. No, they wouldn't. Yes, it, yes, it is. Yes, no, they, they wouldn't. wouldn't. <laughs> no, they yeah, wouldn't. Con- convincing someone to do it, it definitely. That has nothing. No, no you you cannot convict someone for uh, influencing them to go rob a bank. They they are not nowhere near it. They okay, didn't. I don't they know didn't. what country yeah. you live in, but in, I, I'm in Canada, and you would definitely go to go to. Yeah. So yeah, if the, if the person in the in the courtroom says, "But my big brother told me to do it," but he told me to rob the bank, judge. No, that's that's not okay. That's that hearsay. That's hearsay. They would bring evidence to to show evidence that of what? they were fully convinced that they should do this for a greater cause or for whatever reason, and then they would also be held accountable. Well, that has nothing to do with anything. If I if I right. tell you uh, if we if you and I have a conversation and I tell you to go yeah. rob a bank, I convince you to go rob the bank. It's just a conversation, and you go do it. I'm not going to be held accountable for that. I'm not in the courtroom. I'm I'm good. You went and did that. Right. Okay. Well, whatever. The analogy is beside the point either way, in my opinion. So I'm, I'm just going to, it feels like you're a bit frustrated about this, right? I fully I'm, I'm, I'm chilling, bro. I, I think okay. it's, I'm, I'm chilling. I think it's extremely clear cool. in black and white. 
One verse says, no bearer of burdens can bear the burdens of another. The other verse says, some people will bear the burdens of others as long as they misled them. That is a contradiction. They both cannot be true. It's simple as that. In, in your humble opinion, right? Which no, I disagree no, it's with. It's not my humble opinion. My it is, it is okay. like black and white fact. Okay, so just because you say it's a fact doesn't mean it's a fact. You well, didn't. It is, well, you, it is a fact. You failed to prove that. You did fail to prove that. Because I, think, I think that you failed to defend it. Right. You think I failed to defend it? Yeah. Because, because if you commit a sin and that spiral, that sin continues to commit sins, but I misled someone into committing a sin, mm. right? Then, then it's uh, then I shouldn't be held accountable for it. That's what you think. Right. Well, oh no, that's not what I think. It's I'm just showing the contradiction. It's not about whether I agree with either verse. I'm showing how two verses contradict each other. That's all. Okay, sure. They they simply don't. But it, okay. I think I think I've made what, what what's a, what's a contradiction? Okay. I'll just I'll just ask this last Con question and we can move on. What's what's a contradiction? Sure, sure. Contradiction. Uh, I mean, I don't know the dictionary definition, but it would have to be something that uh, that something that is explicit, uh, explicitly opposite, right? Uh, to exist at the same time, pretty much. So uh, like a, a, the sun existing and not existing mm. or, or a squared circle, right? It's just an impossibility, right? It's a contradiction. Got it. Got it. Okay. Just making sure you, you agree with that definition. I agree, man. A cannot be non-A at the same time. Pretty much, exactly, mm -hmm. the opposite. And so you're saying that it is okay that some people can bear the burdens of people that they misled, while at the same time, no bearer of burdens can bear the burdens of another. Those two yes, can because, be both true yes, at the same time? Not, yes, because they're not bearing someone else's sins. They're bearing their own because their actions made that person commit sins. Okay. In a, in a, it, it was partially involved in committing that sin. Yeah. I got you. It's so just like, so just, it's just, like putting, it's like buying an, mm -hmm. a rifle. It's like spending some money on on buying a rifle, mm -hmm. and then someone uses you, That's you wild. misplace it, or you don't, or you don't have it safely secured, and that made your child go out and, and kill someone. Mm -hmm. That you are part, you are accountable for that, and you would. I got be you. In the court of law, you would go. What to what, what does uh what does the word fool mean? Uh, totality, like a hundred percent. Okay. Just like full, fully God and fully man, right? Okay, nice. It's so when it says right. so, totality. So Which, this means uh -huh. that it's to its completion, it's total. <clears throat> so there's nothing left out of it. It's full, right? It says here uh -huh. that they will bear their own burdens in full, right? So that means that the burdens that they're bur that the that they're taking on that are not theirs, are not theirs at all right right well here's the thing you are uh, you are you you yeah okay based on this translation yes but translation again, that's what you read arabic right yeah i read arabic this okay. isn't an arabic well, you're, full isn't a word in arabic by the way it's oh, an really? English word. so let's see let's go to yeah. the roots here let's see it's camilla and what does that word mean it means full <laughs> yeah but the, the problem is the english language doesn't doesn't <laughs> You can laugh all you want. I give you an answer. <laughs> oh Lord! Do you guys hear yourselves? Like, I hear myself very clearly, but I don't know you why. Do? You, I, I, I don't think they they teach you to laugh at uh, people's responses in Christianity, right? I'm yeah, sure yeah, they do. Like actually. Jesus wouldn't 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 they, want they, you to. They, do, they do actually. Yeah. Prophet Elijah did it. Prophet Elijah laughed and mocked the idiots who would worship another <laughs> god other than Yahweh. He laughed at them yeah. for being misguided. Uh, okay. for, for yeah, and well, and, 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 and challenging the true God. Then, it wasn't it wasn't just that they were misguided. Okay. They challenged the true God, and did a test to see whether Elijah's God was true or their God was true. And Elijah laughed at them, mocked them. Okay, if that's what if that's what Christianity teaches you, which is interesting because doesn't Christianity teach you to turn the other cheek? It's interesting. What what, what? you haven't you haven't hit me in my cheek. You, you haven't thrown any punches. Right, just, right. Because you, you, you have, because you, you, you have, right? getting jabbed up, man. Oh yeah, Where, where's the last jab exactly? So the fact that uh, let me uh, yeah, let me let me just is... let's just put a pause on this really quick, bro. And we'll, okay. I gotta read a super chat really quick. So thank you, uh, Gene, for the super chat. It says, "What up, Avery? Uh, just wanted to take this time to bring attention to the attack on Bishop Mar Mari Emmanuel." 
and the fruits of the so-called religion of peace. Thank you. May God bless you and shine his face upon you, brother. May God bless you as well, Jean. Thank you so much for that. And yes, guys, just bring an awareness to uh, Bishop Maramari, Emmanuel, who was stabbed in his church while he was preaching um, by a Muslim who accused him of insulting Islam. Um, yeah, that's yeah. disgusting. If that truly did happen, I don't know about the bishop, but that Muslim is no longer a Muslim because in Islam, Killing one person, taking taking one person's life is like is like killing all of mankind. That's uh, in the Quran, mm -hmm. and that would take you out of the fold of Islam. Right. So that is disgusting Got it. Uh, behavior. Okay. And a bad apple again doesn't represent the the message, right? I I believe that uh, I have a different opinion on that. I I believe that he actually. You believe that a bad apple uh, represents the full truth? I, the no, I I don't I don't believe that, I don't be, I, I don't believe that he was a bad apple. I believe he was a, a ripe apple. I don't believe oh, so. It. You so you agree with him killing a bishop? You I, think that's a I, no, I'm saying that in Islam, that in Islam, that's allowed. I'm saying that I'm saying You're that, saying in Islam, it's I'm, allowed. I'm saying that I'm saying that you. I'm saying that you. Provide evidence for that. Uh, yeah, I'm saying that you are the bad apple. Me personally? Yeah, you're the bad apple. Why by, am I bad up? By saying that he's not Muslim anymore for attacking a person of the uh, a disbeliever, you're saying that he's, he's not, not Muslim I'm not anymore. Making that clear, but. I'm not making you're, that you're, you're a bad apple. No, no, don't don't get okay. me wrong. Don't let me let me make sure you understand what I'm saying. What you're saying am, is what I'm you're really saying good. is righteous. What you're saying is good, and I agree with you that what he did was an evil, sick act. What I'm telling you is that, and it takes you out of the fold of Islam as well. Well, no, what I'm telling you is that what he did is you're in, you're it, is in Islam. the fold of Islam. Yeah, you're allowed to attack the people of the book since, simply because they disbelieve. That's incorrect. That's you what need to provide evidence for that. Chapter you need nine. To provide evidence. Okay, chapter nine, verse twenty-nine. It's contextual. It's uh, within war context. No. And okay, the okay. What, what, after, what, what, what Christian was at war uh, with Muhammad? Uh, what Christian was at war? What do you mean? You want me to name them personally? Yes, name was, the nation. Was, name the Christian, Christian nation. Nations. Yeah, name the Christian nation that was at war with Muhammad. Uh, I, I'm not fully fully aware of the context. To be okay, honest. so so the answer is yeah. none. There were no Christian. Also, oh, because because I don't have them. the answer, that means it d doesn't exist somewhere. Oh no! So I, as not, as I have I, I have the answer, scientist. Yusuf. Yusuf. If I'm not a new, Yusuf, you have Yusuf, the answer. Yusuf, relax. Yeah. Sure, just relax. Calm down. I'm, I'm fully I'm relaxed. Saying, it's just like you're. I'm saying like you're, I'm the one, Yusuf. Okay. Yusuf. I will let you speak. Just give me you, one second. Yusuf. Just to say one line. One one sentence. Go ahead, bro. I find you as a respect respectful individual, right? And. And I, and I see that you facilitated conversations with people and whatnot, uh, and and uh, that you uh, portray yourself in a in a decent manner. You know what I mean. A lot of Christians come out here and they just start throwing names and disrespecting prophets, etc. You're trying to actually get to the message, and uh, trying to pick it apart. And it's fair enough. You know what I mean. I would do the same with any religion before mine, but it it is a don't don't you find it a bit hypocritical that uh, you're you're making assertions on and uh, making claims about things just because if I don't personally have the answer to that, that doesn't mean that it doesn't exist. Like well, you, well, you, misunder that. you misunderstood me. I'm not saying that this doesn't exist you, because, you me. let no, me fit. I uh, hold on, you said one line. Go ahead. Thank you. Go ahead. So I didn't say that because you can't find it or that you don't have it on hand, that it doesn't exist. I'm saying it doesn't exist because I know the answer to this. I know the context. I've studied this. So sure, I so, me, uh, so, so I I know this. You continue speaking. Yeah, go sure, go sure. go go to yeah. Ibn Kathir's tafsir. He gives you the whole background of this verse. He gives you the entire background of chapter nine, verse twenty nine. Sure, sure. Okay, well, I, I'll I'll, leave, I'll even I'll, put I'll, it up for I'll, I'll pull it up right. I'll pull it up for all of us. Look. Sure. So look, it's on the screen. Ibn Kathir's tafsir. Uh, if you want to pull it up on your on your end as well, because it might be easier for you to see, you can do that as well. That's perfectly fine. Yeah, I'm doing that. Okay. And uh, do you mind if, like, what source do you, like, what site are you using? Uh, I'm personally using QuranX.com, but, you know, wh wherever you can ha find Ibn Kathir's Tafsir, it doesn't matter. But yeah, I just want I want everybody to understand clearly. All twenty five hundred people watching on YouTube, all over five hundred people watching here on TikTok. This Yusuf that I'm talking to now, 
Sounds mm -hmm. like he's a, a person that has morals, has character, and can call out an evil when an evil is done. My thing is, is that the majority of Muslims that I come across are better than the morality that is taught within the religion of Islam. I make a difference between the religion of Islam and Muslim people. That's, Fair enough. If that's your opinion based on your subjective but, experience, then so be it. Of course, that's just your opinion. You could have a skewed opinion. You could have met bad individuals. I could have met a lot of bad Christians, which I would say that, I've, that I have, but I don't put that on you, right? And I don't put that on the religion either, right? Yeah, I would I'm, I'm only talking about, I, I, I separate to, the people from the religion, yeah. bro. Exactly, exactly. So because that person killed the bishop doesn't mean that Islam pushed him to do so. You'd have to provide evidence for that. And that's what we're right. doing. What you're, what you're attempting, yes. So we can, we can look at it. That is what we're doing. We could also go back to the, um, like afterwards, we were going to discuss this, but we can go, if you, if you want, we could go back to the uh, marriage of the adopted son as well. I am not interested in that. Fine. Let me know when you're there. Yeah, I'm, the, I'm ready for you. Yeah, okay. I'm ready for you. Yeah. Okay, so in Ibikathir's top seer, breaking it down, right? Uh, I'm going to go, because he talks a lot, right? Um, I want to yeah. quote the relevant parts, okay? <clears throat> but specifically, so I'll just quote this first paragraph here. He says, Allah commands his believing servants who are pure in religion and, and person to expel the idolaters who are filthy. Now, so he's do doing 28 and 29. So this right here, he's talking about yeah. 28. Um, uh, uh, who are filthy in the religious sense, right? From uh, from the Masjid Al-Haram. Yeah. After the revelation of this ayah, idolaters were no longer allowed to go near the Masjid. This ayah was revealed in the ninth year of the Hijrah. The messenger of Allah sent, uh, you know, that's that's not relevant to yeah, yeah. 929, okay? Oh, we, can, just... we can skip to the point if you want. Okay. All right, let me just, it's going to be in the paragraph. Oh. I believe it is not in the time of PR. It should be near the end where it says, fight those, fight against those who believe not in Allah nor the day, nor the last day. Yes, here it is. Uh, the order to fight people of the scriptures until they pay the jizya. Okay. The um, order. Yeah. Yeah. So then he quotes the verse. Are you uh, you there at the paragraph? I'm there. I'm okay, good. It. So it says, fight those, fight against those who believe not in Allah, nor in the last day, nor forbid that which has been forbidden by Allah and his messenger, and those who acknowledge not the religion of truth among the people of the scripture until they pay the jizya with willing submission and feel themselves subdued. So it's not because they attack them. It's not because they're warring against Muhammad. It's because they do not believe. Now let's see how he breaks this down. Therefore, do, do you mind just putting a stop on that? And you can continue sure, right after. Sure. But you said it yourself. So there is context to this verse, which isn't a war context, right? Yes. And we can both agree on that. And the context okay. is that they have to pay this jizya, right? Well, they will be fought. Right, mm -hmm. maybe even to the death. Right, sure. Mm -hmm. Until they pay the jizya. Right. Mm -hmm. So, what's your problem with that? Uh, th this is subjugation. This is these aren't people that yeah. was attacking or oppressing the, the Muslims. This is offensive, and it's yeah, because so it is because they disbelieve. So my, my, uh, no, it's not because they disbelieved. It's because they disbelieved and they didn't pay the jizya. Well, thing, they, right? no, the jizya so comes. How, no, 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 brother. Yeah. The jizya comes. As, a, after the oppression of the people, after you have sub, subjugated them, no, and no, they've it lost. <laughs> oh, okay. No, it doesn't. Okay, well, let, well, let, well, let's, well, okay, let's see. Let's see. You can reread it. Wait, oh, well, do you mind rereading it? No, no, I'm just, it let's just, because we're just going to argue like what I'm saying and what you're saying. Let's just see what Ibn Kathir okay. says. Okay. Okay. So I just feel like you didn't understand what you just read. That's No worries. Okay. okay, no worries. Let's okay. see if, if yeah, Ibn Kathir yeah. agrees with me or you. We'll see. Sure, sure. All right. Therefore, when people of the scriptures disbelieved in Muhammad, they had no beneficial faith in any messenger or what the messengers brought. 
Rather, they followed their religions because this conformed with their ideas, lusts, and the ways of their forefathers, not because they are Allah's law and religion. Had they been true believers in their religion, that faith would have directed them to believe in Muhammad because all prophets gave the good news of Muhammad's advent and commanded them to obey and follow him. All of this is about them rejecting Islam. Let's continue. Yet when yeah. he was sent, they disbelieved in him, even though he is the mightiest of all messengers. Therefore, they do not follow the religion of earlier prophets because their, these religions came from Allah but because these suit their desires and lusts. Therefore, their claimed faith in, any, in an earlier prophet will not benefit them because they disbelieved in the master, the mightiest, the last and most perfect of all prophets. Hence Allah's yeah. statement. So this is why yeah. Allah, so he's about to give you, he's about to say, so this, this all is all explained mm -hmm. the first part of the verse. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So he's about no to problem say, with this, by the way. Okay. Yeah. So he's about to, so, so he says, hence Allah's statement. So because of their disbelief and because uh -huh. of their rejection of Muhammad, this is right. why Allah said this, fight against those who believe not in Allah, nor the last day, nor the religion of truth among the people of the scripture. They wasn't, it wasn't because they were at war with them. It wasn't because of none of that. It was because they rejected Islam. So it continues. This yep. honorable ayah was revealed with the order to fight the people of the book after the pagans were defeated. The people entered Allah's religion in large numbers and the Arabian mm -hmm. Peninsula was secured under the Muslims' control. So Muhammad beat all his enemies in Arabia. He was good. Yeah, yeah. Allah commanded his messenger to fight the people of the scriptures, <clears throat> Jews and Christians in the ninth year of Hijra. And he prepared his army to fight the Romans and called the people to jihad, announcing his intent and destination. The messenger sure. sent, uh, you know, so it talks about how they couldn't because of the weather and stuff like that. He sent messengers, yada, yada, yada. Right? So. Yeah. Hold on, you didn't finish. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Okay, yeah. So paying the jizya. What does the jizya mean? Is the jizya, is it, you know, what, we're about to see. Paying the jizya is a sign of kufar and disgrace Kofr, yeah which means which disbeliever means disbelief in uh -huh. the true god yeah yeah so the jizya is a sign of a disbeliever and disgrace is to disgrace the person because they reject Islam. Uh, no that's it's not the intention isn't to disgrace the person oh it, that's his understanding that it is a sign of disgrace that's perfectly fine it's like saying me personally oh. anyone who isn't muslim it's disgraceful not to be muslim i can, that wait, can but, but what is what is the sign of disgrace what is a sign? Okay. What is the sign of disgrace? Uh, to to this person, Ibn Kathir, yes. No, no, of course. Okay, so Ibn Kathir is saying his, that the jizya is a tafsir. sign of it's disgrace, right? God, this isn't God's tafsir, and this isn't Muhammad Prophet's tafsir. The, the, the Prophet Muhammad's tafsir. Got this it. is his understand. This is this person who's mm -hmm. writing this mm -hmm. uh, tafsir. Mm -hmm. This is. He thinks it's a sign of disgrace, which I agree with him. It is a sign of okay. disgrace. Okay, so what are we doing here? You agree with him. What are we doing here? I agree with him, yeah. All right, yeah, so yeah. let's continue. This is an opinion, my friend. This is an opinion. This is, this this is, is a, a correct you, opinion, you, according you to you. Are, you are, you're making a straw man of a the straw words. man. You're, yes, this is a straw man, because, uh, you, and you're misrepresenting uh, my Mis, I'm misrepresenting, huh? You are misrepresenting. It looks like you agree with everything I've said so far. It's crazy. If Okay, if you, I have agreed with everything you said so far, because it's just a... a Word for word, and I've agreed with this, but I'm saying that it's Good. only okay. Okay, listen, it's only. Are you gonna let me speak? Or are you just gonna... I'm listening, bro. You got the floor. Okay, because I feel like all right. <laughs> so, so look, so look. They, he he believes that paying the jizya is uh, a sign of disgrace. Yeah. Right? It's a ta okay. So just for the for the people listening that don't know what jizya is, and you and you can uh, I don't know if you know about it, but you can agree or disagree if you'd like. Uh, the jizya is. When uh when a certain area or a location mm -hmm. is controlled by the Muslims, so a Muslim mm -hmm. empire, conquered. Just like many empires, mm -hmm. right? Conquered, conquered, just like many of the empires at the time, the Roman Empire. No, the, it ain't no, it ain't like the Roman Empire. It's none of that. No. Oh, the Roman Empire wasn't. Con no, 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 conquer. no. Don't do that. They didn't conquer. It's a lot. Wait, is 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 the Roman <laughs> Empire an empire of God? No. Okay, saying, I, so I stop bringing up these. Stop bringing up what you would call pagan. Kufar nations to, to to 
to make it similar with Islam. We're talking about not, the so-called religion not, of God. I'm, bro. I'm not doing that to make them similar. I'm giving a. Can you let me finish? You, you, okay, good. I feel like you're. Listen, man. If if you're if so you're just scared be, of my just be uh, honest, bro. Just be honest. I am being honest. It, okay, it's so a, it's, a, it's so the empire. so the jizya is a sign of disgrace, right? I didn't finish speaking. Uh, okay, okay. So you're you're just interrupting. It's a just sign of disgrace, right? Okay, so you're just repeating yourself. We, I'm just I, asking I, if you agree. Time, it's a sign of disgrace, right? Five times. I agreed twice already. So right. let me let me say what I want to say now. All right, right? Go ahead, man. If you if you uh, if you want to allow a discussion, not a monologue. You're waffling though. Get to the point. If you want a conversation, not a monologue. Get to the point. All right. The point is that if a, if a, if a, if a nation is uh, controlled by the Muslims, just like any nation is controlled by their people, they set their own laws. The laws of, of a Muslim empire is that any disbeliever would have to pay this jizya, which is like a form of tax, pretty much. Right. And form of tax, tax for what? For being disbelievers. Got it. Simply, simply for being disbelievers. Mm -hmm. Now, the reason for that is because the Muslims would have to pay another tax called jaza. Uh, That's not the sorry, reason. Uh, the, zak the zakat has nothing to do with the jizya. Zakat, Why the are you trying to make a link? It does. It it does. Really? It fully does. The zakat is a percentage of of your wealth that you have to pay pay. In what does the zakat to have to do with the jizya? Because it's the same form of taxation, which is involuntary. It's no, it's form. not. No, it's yes, not. It it's not the yes, same form. Is. Okay. Are you are you paying yes, the tax? Is. Are you paying the tax because you're a disbeliever and it's to show your disgrace? So, so there's two things, right? So before you interrupt me, I'll, I'll, I'll show no, you how it's it simple. Is it's a simple question. Okay. Is the zakat a sign of disgrace and humiliation? Okay, your, uh, your question will be answered if you let me answer. I'm waiting. If I don't hear an answer, okay. I got to cut in. You, okay, sure. You're saying, is the jizya a sign of disgrace? No, no, uh, it's the zakat. It? Is the zakat. Oh, the zakat? Is the zakat a sign of disgrace and humiliation? Is that are you saying is that its purpose or is that my opinion? On is it? the like zakat a sign of disgrace and humiliation? Yes, in my opinion, or, or no. based or or through scholarly work. Yes, words, or no. My opinion. Do you want my personal opinion? Hey, Amen. Yeah. I, Listen, I, it, I, it's, I, it's it's uh it's uh, it's been real, man. I I think that okay. I think it, it'll be easier, bro, if you just be like, you know what, man. Uh, I I wasn't that educated on this particular issue, and I stand corrected. I'm It'll, fully educated. You're not letting me speak. Listen, it, it, you so, will you will look you wouldn't look as bad as you're looking right now. You're looking I really look bad, bad, bro. Like right. people are so telling me to kick you, but I'm not going to kick you. Silencing me instead of answering uh, instead of finishing my point or letting me speak. Right? You're, yeah. You're asking so, the same question. Yeah. So are you going to answer it or not? Yeah, yeah. You're saying is it is it the same? Okay. Is the zakat? Let me just get your question right. Is the zakat? A sign of disgrace, like like jizya. No. no, is it a sign of disgrace at all? Yes or no? No, it isn't. Thank you. So it's not like the jizya. Do not try to relate them. They have uh, no, no connection, no, exactly. no so link. They're nothing alike. Okay, I'll let you speak. So and you're making the let's, let's continue. That, jizya, that the jizya is. You're making well, no, no, it, no. Ibn Kathir does. Ibn Kathir does. So Ibn okay, Kathir says Ibn Kathir paying jizya sure, so what does that is a sign of kufar, disbelievers, right. and disgrace. Right. Allah said. Until they pay the jizya, if they do not embrace, choose to embrace Islam, force a tax on them. Force a tax on them that Just shows like the, their the, disgrace the, the and humiliation. Muslims, yeah. Let's continue. With Muslims willing submission, watch this, tax, in way. defeat and subservience, and feel themselves subdued, disgraced, humiliated, and belittled. Therefore, he continues. Because this is, I mean... I love how Ibn Kathir is so clear with this. Yeah, you disgrace, how you skip, humiliated, belittled. Why did you skip? Why therefore, did you skip Muslims why did you skip are not. Allowed. Watch this. Watch this. Okay. I, I, look, you. Why said, did you skip until watch, they paid watch, the watch me show you. Watch me show you how you're why the bad you apple. The, you're the okay. bad apple within Islam. I'm the you're, bad apple. So he yes. knows me. He's judging me personally. He yeah, knows my yeah, I am. Life. You're you're okay. you you are a good person. You're God. Right? You have you have good morals. You have a good attitude. And you're the bad apple in Islam because of this, because of your good morality, because of your good attitude, because you're able to call out what is right and wrong. You are the bad apple in Islam. The good apple in Islam, the ripe apple in Islam is the one that will go into a church and stab a priest. Why? Ibn Kathir tells us. Feel themselves subdued, disgraced, humiliated belittled watch this therefore muslims are not allowed to honor 
people of Dimma, that's what it calls us, lower class citizens, lower class citizens, Dimma, or elevate them above Muslims. Why? Why, Ibn Kathir? For they are miserable, disgraced, and humiliated. You're the bad apple in Islam, Yusuf. I truly believe that. I truly believe that if you and I go out and get some food together, I will be perfectly safe. I believe that I can invite you into my church and you won't try to stab me or shoot me or anything like that. I truly believe that, Yusuf. I believe that you are, you know, relatively a good person. And that is why you are the bad apple in Islam. Because Islam, the religion, is evil. It's not good. It teaches you to disgrace me, to humiliate me, to cause me to feel and be miserable, to not elevate me or honor me because I am a disbeliever. This is chapter 9, verse 29, ladies and gentlemen, for those who are asking. Chapter 9, verse 29. Thank you, Yusuf. You can come back next time when we have another topic, I guess. When you're, you know, in a better mood. And that's that. We have 2,600 people watching on YouTube. Guys, man, can we get up to 3,000 before I have to go to David Wood's stream? Can we get up? Can we get it to 3,000? We're almost at 2,700. 2,672 people. Let's see if we can get 3,000 people in here watching. Watch this cook fest. Make sure you guys are smashing that like button, man. Smash that like button. Smash that like button so that people know we're live and they can come in here. Let's get up to 3,000 people in here. Okay, let's see who we have next. The ch oh, the chapter. Oh, sorry. Somebody's asking me a question, my friend. Hold on. Let me just address this. Uh, the really? chap. Yeah, just one second. One second. The chapter and verse about the bearing of burdens, guys, the contradiction. It's chapter 35, verse 18. Chapter 35, verse 18. It says no bearer of burdens can bear the burdens of another. That's 35, verse 18. And then the contradictory verse is chapter 16, verse 25. Chapter 16, verse 25. Okay, that one says they will bear their own burdens in full, right? So they can't play around like, oh, that like that's some of the no. They will bear their own burdens in full and some of the burdens of those that they've misled. Chapter 16, verse 25. Clear, utter contradiction. No way around it. Can't play games. Can't play games. How you doing, my friend? Yo, man. Uh, I have a question. Uh, you believe in uh, Jesus Christ? Uh, I do. I do believe in Jesus Christ. What about you? Yes. Um, I have a question. Um, you don't believe in Jesus does Christ? Does God? Huh? You don't believe in Jesus Christ? No, I'm a Muslim. Uh, yeah, I believe in him, but uh, I but, I believe he's a prophet. Uh, well, as a as you were right, as a, you said, you said no. So as a Muslim, you don't believe in Jesus. Okay, uh, I have a question. Does God know everything to you? He knows everything, including the hour, including uh, fruits not being on fig trees. He knows everything. Okay, but... Guys, I'm not Jesus. dumb. I can hear. I know who I'm talking to. Go ahead. Jesus is. Jesus didn't know the hour, and it's, and it's in the Bible. He did know so... the hour. It is in the Bible that he knew the hour. He knows everything. Twenty fourth, it says. Uh, it says Jesus... no man, no man, nor angel, nor the son knows only the Father. Right? Yes. Okay. The word "no" in the Greek there is "oiden," which is also used to mean to tell something or to declare, to make something known. So Jesus isn't saying that he doesn't know the the hour. He's saying it's not for him to tell it, nor is it for the angels to tell it, nor is it for human beings to tell it. It's only for the father to make that known when he wants to. So, and here's how you know this. 
And a few chapters before this, Jesus compares his coming of the hour, his coming to a Jewish wedding. Now in a Jewish wedding, the groom, the husband, doesn't announce the wedding day, nor does the bride, but the father of the groom makes known the wedding day. It's only the father that makes it known. It doesn't mean that the groom or the bride don't know their own wedding day. So similarly, Jesus says that his coming is like a Jewish wedding. He says that. He gives that parable. And so similarly, it's not for him <coughs> to make it known. It's not for him to declare the day of the wedding. It's for his father to declare. Make sense? Yes, but that that it's uh, actually doesn't make sense because he says the father uh, only knows it, but he says he's the son, so nobody knows it. Only the father. But, let me let but, me give let me give you an example. Let me give you an example of how yeah. this verse is used. So this word no or this this specific one because there's different words in the Greek for the word no. This this one specifically is oidin, and so I'm, what I'm telling you is used to as a in a declarative way, like. It's not for me to make to tell you this. For example, if you go to 1 Corinthians chapter 2, Paul uses the same word and he says this. He says, when I came to you, so he came to the people of Corinth and he preached the gospel to them. He says, when I came to you, I decided to know, wait in, there's that word again. I decided to know nothing except Jesus Christ and him crucified. Now, let me ask you this. When Paul says that he decided to know nothing except Jesus and him crucified, does that mean that Paul literally didn't have any other knowledge? That he literally didn't know nothing except Jesus and him being crucified? Yeah. It means that he literally didn't know anything? No, no, no. I mean, uh, like, wouldn't, that he wouldn't he know his name and wouldn't he know, you know, his own birthday? Like, you know, wouldn't he know that he's in the city of Corinth? Wouldn't he know the people he's talking to? No. So he, he knows other things. So then why does he say, when I came to you, I decided to know nothing except Jesus and him crucified? That doesn't literally mean Paul didn't know anything else, right? No, but uh, how, how um, is the thing that the father... And the son, because he says that, but it's not true because the father and he says, uh, some someone said to me the other day that he's only the son and father is the God. That yeah, no, you're doesn't getting, make any sense. You're getting a little things. I'm, you're getting a little things confused, but just just focus here with me. Focus here. We're focusing on knowing the hour or not. What I'm trying to show you is is that Jesus is not saying that he doesn't know the hour like mentally like he has he like he does not have the information of when that will happen what he's saying is is that it's not for him to declare it it's not for him to tell it that's how that word no is being used that's how paul used the word no elsewhere to it's telling something to make something known make sense oh like that okay mm -hmm. So, uh, okay, thank you. you have, uh, I know it now. Uh, I'm gonna look it up. Uh, thank you. Of course, of course. Take care, man. Come back when, whenever you have another question. Again, guys, um, I know that I might not look like I'm the sharpest tool in the bunch, but I know a kid's voice when I hear one, I know a young man's voice when I hear one. Do you think that I'm not going to give this kid who has the courage to come up and challenge or ask questions? Do you think I'm not going to lead him the right way and give him a correct answer to plant the seed just because he's a kid? So I don't need, oh, logic, he's a kid. Logic, kick him, he's a kid. I can hear that. And the kids are the most right. They're the, they're the most sensitive. They're the ones we need to focus on before the devil corrupts them completely. Make sense? 
The Bible says that the kingdom of heaven belongs to the children. Let the kids come to me. That's what Jesus says. Let the children come to me. When the disciples tried to hold the kids back from coming to Jesus, he says, no, get out the way. Let the kids come to me. For the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these. So when a kid comes in front of hundreds of people and he's willing to talk, absolutely, God has brought him to the right place. By the way, for those who were not here in the beginning of the stream, right before I, I started the stream, I was on the phone with a, with a Muslim, a now ex-Muslim. He gave his life to Christ. He gave his life to Christ. He accepted Islam. I was, I've been talking with him for about a week now. He was on one of my prior streams about a, about a little over a week and a half ago. He came through and we've been talking ever since. And uh, man, it's, it's a blessing. He came to Christ about 15 minutes before I started my stream. Came to Christ, accepted Christ. He was looking at stuff honestly. He was watching the videos, watching um, uh, my engagements with Zach, you know, uh, answering Zachar Naik and watching me answer Uthman. And he was like, man, these guys are liars. He said it himself. And he's, and uh, by the way, he's young. He's young in high school. And, and God pricked his heart and his mind to search these things. And he started reading the gospel. And he was reading, it was like, man, like, why do Muslims say that Jesus isn't God? It says it clearly in the Bible. It says it clearly in the Bible. I told him, read Isaiah 53. He read Isaiah 53, blew his mind. He said, it says it right here that Jesus is God who gave his life for us. He was amazed by it, guys. <laughs> he was amazed. He was blown away. And he was like, so this comes before the Quran and, the, and, and it contradicts this. Like, it, why would anybody think it's true? He got it like this because the Holy Spirit was leading this young man. And so he also has friends that he's talking to as well. It's God is doing some amazing things with not only just this ministry, but with, but with the ministries of others. And this year, man, this year, this year. And we're just in April. We're having so many conversions. So many people are coming to Christ. The Hebrew Israelite, the Muslim lady, uh, a couple of other Muslims in that's you know off screen, whether on the phone or in the back channel or in the comment section, they're announcing that they have accepted Christ. They've come to Christ. Adam, they've all come to Christ. They're, 2024 is wild. It's wild this year, man. It is wild this year. There is no stopping this. Thank you guys for the super chats. There's no stopping this. We got Lynn saying, I too pray for Bishop Maramari, Emmanuel, and all the people at that service. May God's hand be upon him and you as well, Avery. God bless you both. Amen. 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 How can we become more learned apologetics wise? I would say read, do a lot of reading, spend some time reading and taking notes when you're watching us go live and engage with disbelievers. Um, do a lot of that. That's what I did. I did a lot of reading, a lot of vid watching videos and taking notes, man, and, and reading articles. <laughs> Topical wise, though. I studied topical, you know, I studied topics and mastered certain topics. And that's how, you know, you get well-rounded like that. Amen, amen. Let's see here. LJ says, after seeing the attack, my heart is heavy. So many prophecies coming to pass. Continue what you're doing. On fire for Jesus, they are following Satan. Exactly. John 16.30 confirms this Avery's view. Amen. John 16.30. 
It says, the disciples said to Jesus, now we know that you know all things and no one need to question you. Now we know that you know all things. And you know what Jesus' response was in the next verse? His response in the next verse is, do you now believe? Do you now believe? The Bible is clear that Jesus knows all things. Rush says, hey, Avery, just wondering if you'll add YouTube membership to this channel too. I'm already a member on 2.0 and just got GL tier four. So I'm out of options for another automatic reoccurring donation. <laughs> Much love. <laughs> um, I haven't thought about starting memberships on, on YouTube. Uh, GL 2.0, that's life's channel. So I, I don't, yeah, I haven't, I haven't thought about doing it here, but if you guys, if you guys do want to give monthly, I think that you're already like a, a, a patron. So that, that's good. But the best way if to give monthly for me is, um, is through Patreon. It's through Patreon. Um, for those who want to give. So for those of you guys who give, and by the way, thank you guys for all who give on PayPal, who give on Patreon and, and uh, Cash App and Venmo, all of you guys, thank you so much. Um, I wish I could respond to each and every one of you personally and just personally tell you how much I thank you, but I see all of you guys and thank you so much um, for helping the ministry out and supporting and, and financially. Thank you guys so much. That's right, Southside Snipers. All right. So I think that... Uh, that's enough super chats for now. Let me go ahead and bring up another guest. You guys ready? How you doing? I'm doing great. Thank you. Good. good. Uh, please excuse my uh, la my English language. My mother tongue is Arabic, mm. but I'm here to ex uh, because I saw many questions you talk about and i want to explain for your audience okay which is which one uh, would you like start, to touch on so i will start at the end then i will uh, go to talk about them uh, the marriage you, you spoke about maybe 30 minutes ago the word now you explain it uh, in wait, the wait, bible wait wait what do you want to talk about uh, the word now you spoke about in the bible with the kid oh, okay you so you said you had it has a uh, many meaning, yeah. Uh, the word oyedin has a declarative meaning. Yeah, yeah. When you when they said the the father no. Yeah. Can you explain it more? Uh, yes, yeah. I'll break it down. So, uh, it's for the father to declare that hour. So the word no or oyedin in the Greek is being used in a declarative sense, meaning to tell something or to announce something. So it's not for men or, or the angels or the son, apart from the father, to announce or declare, to make known the day of uh, the day of the hour that Jesus comes. But the father, it's for great, him to declare. Great, great, great. And uh, don't you think this word uh, need to be explained more in English? at the Bible because in Aramaic or in the, this, that language, for example, the word lion in English, it's only for the lion. But in Arabic, the word lion, it has 300 more uh, words for the word lion. Okay. So uh, we, in, uh, the word no, now or no in English, it's, it's meaning, it, it has only one meaning. It's, it, it doesn't have a Two meaning or three meanings. Well, the, this is why we're, we're not. I will skip that. I will skip that because well, I no, want to spoke well, about the well, marriage hold on, hold on, the prophet. Hold on, yeah, hold on. Let me uh, just touch on what you just said. Um, the context is is allowing us to know how the word is being used. Yes, right. But if it's trans so, translated in English, yeah. it should be more translation. So it doesn't have to be. Like not example, not not if you understand what the word what the word means and then and its context. You don't, you don't have to do super extras. It's okay. I'm not here for, for discussing this uh, specific word. Okay. Uh, I want to talk about the marriage and the story behind this marriage. Because okay. uh, I, and then I will speak about the Jizya. The marriage, the, the prophet, when he, he, he wanted to uh, 
forbidden the adapting. So, for example, if you are adapting uh, he, in the Prophet's lifetime, he, uh, it reveals uh, laws and uh, Sharia uh, step by step. Like, for, for example, alcohol was banned during the, the, during the years. It's not banned uh, at once. The, in the Quran said, don't drink and go to pray. Drinks at the time, you don't pray. After that, he said, don't drink at all. For, uh, what, what is, are you, so are you just talking about abrogation or what? No, I'm not talking about the abrogation. I'm simply trying to explain the story behind the marriage of the, uh, the Prophet for Zainab and Zaid. Okay, yeah, because I, I, don't, I, don't I don't know what the drinking or anything had to do with that. Yeah, I will explain what. Uh, Zaid were uh, not the real son of the Prophet. He was his son in adopting, correct? Yeah, he was his adopted son. So he had adopted Muhammad's name. Son. So, so God wanted to reveal to his Prophet that for uh, adopting is forbidden from now on till the end of the time. Yeah, and after this, af after this situation, yeah. Accept, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So for that, he divorced them, Zaid and Zainab, and he married Zainab. So, what is your, what's the point here? Because I, we know that. I think we, we see. Because we when you discussed that. this, at, when you, yeah, when you, when you discussed it, uh, neither you and the other uh, speaker uh, said about this. Uh, yeah, I did. Uh, about what I said. Yeah, yeah I did. I, I literally mentioned that this is why Muhammad. Uh, so what is your uh, issue with abolished it? adoption? Because you said it's not right to it's not right for the prophet to. Well, yeah. So he was uh, he was his son, and then, yeah, uh, and then canceled adoption so that he's not his son anymore to marry his wife or his ex-wife. You think that that's okay? You think that 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 that's cool? Do I think about what? Do you think that, that that's okay to uh, to marry your? Your son's ex-wife? It's not right, but to... That's what Muhammad did. So, so yeah, he did. Why? Be, to show for all his... Because it's the best scenario to uh, enforce this, uh, this the new law. Do you, okay, let me ask you this. Do you think that it's good to adopt or bad to adopt? It's forbidden. No, no, I'm, I know it's forbidden, Why? but I'm I'm just asking: do yeah. you do you believe it's a good thing to adopt, or do you think it's a bad thing to adopt? For nasab in Arabic, the, it's not a good thing. So adopting, okay. So let's let me put it to you this way. I will, um, I will put it in the name. If, 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 hold on, hold on. I, I it's understand. I understand. Hold on, hey, yo. yo, 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 yo. I'm talking to you, bro. Yeah, talk. Okay. Thank you. So I'm going to put it in a scenario that I think we all understand and get. Let two parents, a man and a wife, um, yes. and the wife is barren, and they really want a child. They really want a child of their own, but they, but she is unable to give birth. They can adopt, but they cannot uh, give their names to the uh, to the adopt. So they can't. So they can't adopt. They can foster. Oh, for example, you, your name is. Wait, wait, that's that's not adoption. That's fostering. They can foster someone, but they cannot yeah. adopt someone as their own child. Where that child is now theirs, they are in that family, and they receive the inheritance of their of their now new parents. Do you think this that is why exactly? Yeah, do you, 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 you think that that's you think that's good to, to cancel that out? Being able to give parents who desire a family to be able to get rid of the only way that they're able to to have a family? They can adopt, but they cannot give their names to their adopted. Yeah, so they're not family. Son, son or daughter, yeah, yeah. A girl or boy. Right, so they're not family. Do you think that that's okay uh, to cancel yeah, out the true. only way? For parents who really want a family of their own but cannot have it due to medical issues, uh, to cancel out and, and get rid of the only way that these parents can have that 
that desire fulfilled and for a orphan child, let's say an orphan, to be a part of a family and have a family name of his own, his or her own. You think that that's a good thing to do to, to, to get rid of that? Look, uh, we will have a great conversation if we talk it in Arabic because my language is it's not mm. that great. For, uh, in Arabic, kafalat yatim. Kafalat yatim means uh, I can uh, take care of a child, mm -hmm. but it's not necessarily to do. Uh, I can uh, take care of him since day one till he die, but without take uh, giving him giving him my name. This man, this adopted son. Uh, it's called foster. His right. Is is called his his right is called by his by his real father. Yeah, and and yeah, and, so example, and, and what if, if an you, orphan? If you, what if, if an orphan doesn't know their father? If you have if you have a son. No, what if, if their father is unknown? What if their father is unknown and they don't know the name of their father? Uh, okay, okay, okay. I will tell you. If you have a son, and uh, by the rule by by this planet or uh, something happened, by the way, you took away from your son after fifty years. You, uh, your knowledge, you, uh, you find this uh, son, and you, uh, you found out he, he has, he is adopted, and he have a family name and have everything. What? How do you feel? Uh, you should feel happy your that some. Have, you should feel happy your, that somebody yeah, yeah, took your yeah, son yeah, in you will be and took care yes, of them and gave them a family. He, he take care. So what about yes, what about I'm, the so yeah I'm so what about the person? Good. So yes, what about the person good, who didn't it. know who their father but, is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will tell you. I'm hundred percent with you. I will be happy. My son is is been taken care and uh, everything. Is and good. he has a family but, of his own, a name. Yes, yes, yes. A, a name. Yes, a name and everything. But he has to be have my name because I am his real father. So that's okay, I lost him for fifty that, years. What happened after this? That's something years? that y'all can I saw work my out. Son. What, that's uh, that's that's something that you and your son could work okay. out. Okay, okay, okay. Your you find your son after fifty years. And he have another family name, not uh, not your uh, real name. Uh, what you will do? And uh, you 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 you, you got to. That's to something that your that's something that your fifty year old son can figure out with you whether he wants to keep his family's name that took care of him and raised him and gave really? him inheritance really? Really? or really? or your name. Really? Yes. <laughs> okay. 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 I want to spoke a little bit about the jizya. What? Uh, Wait, no. Yusuf, we're, we're, uh, so is that is that he, a is that a is that a good oh, thing or a no, bad no. thing? No, 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 no. I will come. We will come back to this point. But I will tell you something about the jizya because Yusuf didn't. Kai Bar shoots the super chat. Says Quran three one forty uses the same type of no as in the Bible, unless they want to admit that Allah does not know who believes in Him. Jesus is Lord, free all, and Joshas. Let my left shoulder go. Hashtag one name above all. Amen to that. That's right, guy. And then we also got another super chat here from Eddie, who dropped the bag. $100 super chat, man. Thank you so much for giving to the ministry, man. I appreciate you. Wow. I'll we'll leave that there, man. That looks really good. That looks really, really good. Praise the Lord. All right, let's see if we have any more guests here on TikTok. Muslim, oh, Mikey. Oh, You've been here before, Mike. I'll bring you up after this, after Manuel. Manuel, are you a Muslim, Manuel? By the way, guys, I will be live in, in 20 minutes on David Wood's channel. So... I'm going to, I want everybody to funnel over there when I'm getting ready to wrap this up. Got some time, got some time. We got some time. All right, Emmanuel's not connecting. Let's go ahead and bring up Mikey. Yes, Logic, how you doing? What's up, Mikey? All good, all good. All right, so I've got a question for you. You said that Jesus uh, knew the hour, right? Yep. Okay. I'm just going to put something on the screen, okay? Uh, I'm going to put a... Uh, hold on. What are you putting on the screen, Mikey? Okay. Some commentary, some commentary. Some commentary by who, uh, Mikey? By church fathers, okay? Do, do not throw them under the bus. By which church fathers, okay. Mikey? Uh, St. Jerome. 
Saint Jerome. All right. What What if all I right. gave you Athanasius, Mikey? All right, all right. Don't worry, don't worry about it. You, you can bring it out. Okay. Look okay. what Saint Jerome says. Even Even the Son knows not all things. How then can we? Hmm. Oh, hmm. nice. Okay. Mm. Guys, is that is that so, so, is that, is that is, supposed to do wait, something wait, to me? Wait, wait, wait one second. Yeah, yeah, logic. You're saying that you understand the scriptures more than your church fathers. So, well, so, well, so, well so, actually, can I so, let, now? Now, let me go ahead and so, give you a church father. You ready? Mm. No, no, one second, one second. So, one second. First, first, no, 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 first no, 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 no. You, you know, you, you, you brought something and you tried to appeal it to an authority okay. to make something wait, a fact to make a point. No, no, no. So now I'm going to do the same to you. I'm going to give you. Athanasius, I'm going to give okay. you Athanasius, who's going to tell you that Jesus mm -hmm. knows the hour. It's just that he doesn't okay. declare it. Mm. Okay, 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 okay. Mm. Logic, logic. So, we should, so, we should, so we should throw St. Jerome under the bus, right? Mm. Should we, should we hit him with, should, should we, I'm should just going to give St. you a church Jerome father, without, just like you did, bro. I'm just going to give you a church father. Should we, should, I'm just, just going to give you a church father, bro. All right, I'm just, just going to give you a church father. So, go ahead, mute up, mute up. So mute book. up. I'm gonna give you no, no, church no, one father. Second, one second, one second. Mute up. Okay. See, see. He just he just there threw you go. Saint... Now you're quiet now because you're hyper and you're in panic mode he just, already. He just threw Saint Jerome under the bus. <laughs> you're in panic mode already. You're in panic mode already. Let's go ahead and get Athanasius. So your church, your, your, your church. Hey, stop stop right? unmuting, him or you're just gonna go down, bro. Simple as that. Hey guys, the next time he unmutes, just kick him. He's not really worth my time or my pearls, but. Just for yeah, the sake throw, of the audience, here, the bus, go, go ahead and remove just, him from the stage. The we don't we don't even need a we don't even need a poll. <laughs> run, run, run! Thank you. Let's get this child off the stage. But here's the crazy thing, guys: we had a child, we had a Muslim child on the stage. We had a Muslim child on the stage, and the child who sounded like he was probably twelve was more mature than this dude. We had a Muslim child on the stage. Who was more mature than this adult Muslim who can have a who can listen and have an intellectual back and forth? The child. Yeah, he was he was probably Aisha's age, Marby. <laughs> now let's do this. Let's go ahead and get some church father quotes that back up the understanding that Jesus knows the day and hour, just not for him in his authority to declare, but it's in the Father's authority to declare. And by the way, whenever the Father makes something known or declares something, he does it through the Son. Oh, John chapter 1, verse 18. The Son, the only begotten God who's at the Father's side, he has made him known. Oh, in these last days, he has spoken by his Son. Oh, Hebrews 1, 1. Oh, Complete morons. Complete morons. Where Black Doctor at, man? Give me that quote, man. I know, I know some of y'all got that quote on hand. If not, I'd have to go in my little archives and get it. I got to go in my little archives and get the quote. Show you guys that Athanasius, not just Athanasius, but others as well, have this understanding that Jesus knows the hour. Just doesn't declare it. It's not for him to declare. Oh, let's see here. Got to go back in my archives. Man, I got to go man back way in the day is when I had these. Let's see here. If somebody has that for me more quicker, that would be amazing. But if not, no worries. I'll pull it up myself. I'll pull it up myself, yeah? Here we go. We got uh, Chrysostom, homilies on the Acts of the Apostles and the Epistle to the Romans. 
a commentary on the Acts of the Apostles. Listen to this, guys. Homily number two on Acts 1, verse 6. When the, uh, when the disciples intend to ask anything, they approach him together, that by dint of numbers, they may abash him into compliance. They well knew that what he had said previously of that day knoweth no man. He had merely declined telling them. Therefore, they again drew near and put the question. Oh, this isn't even Athanasius, I don't think. This is somebody else. More commentaries with this understanding that Jesus just declined telling them the day. He didn't declare it or make it known to them. This is why in Acts chapter 1, verse 6, they come to him again. And then he says, it's not for you to know. Oh, okay. Let's see if we have some more. Do we have any more? Someone else? Uh, this is too long for me to go through, uh, Scott. Not helping me, man. Guys, I'm asking for the quote of, uh, I believe it's Athanasius. Give Athanasius' opinion on Jesus knowing the hour. Athanasius. I said that I will get up Athanasius, so I got to get Athanasius up. I believe it's Athanasius. On Jesus not declaring the hour. Man, I should have more of this stuff like ready. I have all my hadiths like ready, but man. Why does it take me so long to get a church for the quote up? Shame on you, Avery. Shame, shame, shame. Shame on you, logic. Oh. And where are my people at, man? With the quotes, where y'all at? Usually y'all help me with this stuff, but you guys are, you guys are feeling me today. Here we are. Here we are. Let's see if he says it all here. Athanasius. Select writings and letters. The theology of St. Athanasius. Content of Revelation, Mark 13, 32. With regard to the human knowledge of Christ, the text, Mark 13, 32, Luke 2, 52. Lie in the foundation of the discussion. Da, da, da. The Arians appeal to this to go against the divine nature, right? Was ignorant of the day and advanced in knowledge. The whole argument of Athanasius in reply is to is directed to showing that these passages apply not to the word or son himself and himself, but to the incarnate son. He knows as God, so is the ignorant as man. Omniscience is the attribute of the Godhead, ignorance proper to, of man. The incarnation was not the sphere of advancement to the word, but of humiliation and condes, condescension but the manhood advanced in wisdom as it did in stature also. So he says that yes, Jesus did know the day and the hour. His divine essence and nature, his divine mind is not ignorant of such things, right? Okay. So we even have Athanasius saying that Jesus knows the day and hour per his divine essence and the divine omniscience. So let's see if we have anybody else. Oh! By the way, ladies and gentlemen, again, I will be live with, uh, with David Wood. 
Dang, Eddie, you sent another one? Wow. Thank you, brother. You sent another $100 super chat. We got Kenny who says, God bless you. Keep up the good work in Jesus' name. Amen, amen. We got AJ who says, may God bless your ministry. Logic, do vote. Amen to that. <laughs> and then we also have um, Eddie again who says, I'm surrounded by Muslims at work from listening to you. I cannot defend Christianity. I think, I thank you for that more than you know. Wow. Glory to God. And he sent another one, another $50 super sticker. That's, that's amazing. God bless you, Eddie. And may God give you wisdom and clarity on how to engage with uh, the Muslims at your workplace that you're surrounded with. We got JJ who says in Matthew 4, 7, Jesus said to him, you shall not tempt the Lord your God. Why we don't use this against Muslims that ask, where did Jesus call himself God? We do. Who you, you, you been watching? A Muslim brought this up to me. Uh, uh, brought this up to me a little while ago. And I, and I show, <laughs> and it got him busted with this. Telling the Satan, he's trying to tempt Jesus. Jesus says, you shall not tempt the Lord your God. Who is he tempting? Jesus. So who is Jesus claiming to be? Yahweh. Exactly. All right. Bring Khan up. Oh, so Khan is not able to come up. All right. Let's go ahead and switch it up now. Let's give YouTube a chance then. Since we have no more Muslim guests on TikTok, let's see if the Muslims on YouTube can do better. So here is the link. Here's the link. The cooking doesn't stop. Oh, shoot, is it time to go? All right, yeah, it's, about, it's almost time. Hold on, let me see if David sent me the link. Oh, yeah, David sent me the link. So let me go ahead and email that to myself. shoo ba doop da ba da doop ba doop But there's the link, Muslims, if you want. You got, you got about five minutes to convince me that Islam is true. Got about five minutes to convince me that Islam is true. All right. Let me go ahead and send this to myself. Shoot up the do. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, so everybody, uh, moderators, oh, thank you. You just did it. If you guys can, go ahead and get that link. Um, get that link to David Wood's stream. We're going over to David Wood's stream. And Muslims, you guys can come too because we're actually inviting Muslims to join us. Come join us on David Wood's stream and come prove to us that Muhammad wasn't a Christian. <laughs> come prove to us that Muhammad wasn't a Christian. All right, on David Wood's stream. Okay. Hamza, how's it going? Yeah, good man. You? Can you hear me okay? Pretty good. Got a few minutes, man. Yeah, no, so I've got a couple questions more in relation to Christianity. I've got quite a few, quite a few Christian friends and stuff. And um, there always seems to be different opinions on to ask you like the celebrations that some Christians celebrate and don't celebrate. So I know your views on it in terms of do you celebrate Christmas and do you think Christmas as a kid celebrate? I know it's obviously differs between certain denominations and stuff and the same for Easter. Okay. Yeah, I, I celebrate Christmas. I definitely celebrate Christmas. Um, I don't have a problem with Christmas as a holiday. Um, I know that it's not 
the day that Jesus was born, but it is a day that traditionally we have, we celebrate the birth of Christ. So um, I don't see anything uh, wrong or evil about that. By the way, we're, people are saying that they're they're hard to hear you. Sorry, my Wi-Fi connection is terrible. Man. Um, I was going to say, just going back to um, the point where you was trying to mention the differences or the contradictions between the burdens of people being wholly responsible for the burdens and one verse showing the other example in terms of a contradiction. I just wanted to correct you and give you the example of how people would be responsible uh, for saying certain things and if other people um, committed sins based on what someone said. An example, let's say I, God forbid, I'm sorry, never do this, but let's say I convince people to commit a terrorist attack. If I was linked to someone, or if I was linked to influence someone to commit a terrorist attack, then I would be responsible. Um, I'm going to go similar to the verse as well. Well, yes, as a person, we are responsible for all of our actions. But if in some way we have misguided someone or gave them information that they misguided for them to commit a sin, well, then impartially we would be responsible. So for you to say that them two verses are contradictions, I don't think that's the case because even on the second verse that you show, it's still stated more or less that yes, people are responsible for, or just for, so that no one could be burdened based on someone else's actions, I know I'm paraphrasing, but at the same time, if you influence or misguide people, you can't be responsible for that. Just like in the States, for example, when Donald Trump tried to claim false elections and people mm -hmm. tried to overthrow the government and then now he's gone to Congress or wherever it may be to potentially face um, crimes or influence of influencing people to do wrong things. Does that make sense? Right. Uh, not, not to the verse. So the verse says that no bearer burdens can bear the burdens of another at all. Just flat out gives that right no bear burdens can bear the burdens of another okay the other verse then comes and says that actually these people some people will bear their own burdens totally so everything that every sin that is attributed to them they're gonna bear it all in full yes as well so in addition to yes. the burdens of those they have misled so yes, it's not that it's not that you know when they mislead someone and then they do the bad the bad deed that that's their sin too no that's not their sin because they have already they're bearing their own sin in full this is yes. just someone else's sin because they misled them that's going to be put onto them as well that's yes it's like, it's like it's like a connection isn't it really think about it it's because you are still partially responsible for committing for, for someone else committing a sin because even in the law of court like the example i gave at the beginning if you influence someone to do a terror attack or someone to do bad and you could be linked to influencing someone in that way you are held responsible and that's just just like in this verse well, i'm not saying that brother i'm not saying that it's not just i'm saying that it's in contradiction to the other verse that says they won't be held responsible for anybody else's burdens but that's you're the, still that's the but it's still your wrongdoing because it's not like it's not their wrongdoing. Example. No, but it is because you... no. If, if I rob, if you if you misled me to rob the bank, yeah. me robbing the bank, did you rob the bank or did I? But I influenced you to just like the example. Yeah, you influence. Yeah, so so you influencing. Me is, yeah, Hamza. So you influencing me is your bad deed, right? That's your bad deed. Yes. My my bad deed is actually going through and robbing the bank right yes, yes. so, so i it, didn't so the bad deed of robbing the bank is not mine that's yours i influenced you to do it but you did that i didn't do it so yes. because i miss i influenced you to do that what you did is going to be put onto me as well since i influenced yes. so therefore so it's, it's, an, it's like an addition isn't it because yeah it's an addition yeah so i'm 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 responsible for misguiding you that's the first part and afterwards whoever's been misguided if they were to commit an act that was sinful i would also be partially responsible for that just in the law of, just in the court of law where 
depending on the damage that's done or the crime that's been committed. An example I keep giving, I don't want to, I hate to repeat myself, but if I influence who to commit a terror attack, I could just be punished just based on that. But if someone did commit a terror attack, I would also be punished on the fact that someone actually went ahead with that. So they wouldn't say, oh, you're going to get punishment for influencing someone. You get punishment for influencing someone and the fact that someone actually committed those crimes afterwards. And that's yeah, the so that's, that, yeah, that's in contradiction to the other verse that says, no, you won't bear any burdens except your own. You're only yes, responsible I am part of that burden. That's a contradiction, bro. Okay, I think but, we, I think we, uh, yeah, we, we, can, uh, we can agree. To, okay. We can, we can leave it at that. I mean, there's, I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty clear and straightforward to me. There's literally no way around it. Um, you know, and you have your opinion to it, that's fine, but I gotta end this, okay? I gotta, you're welcome to come back when I have more time. I'll, uh, I'll bring you back up. Hopefully, you have a better sound because I can, I can barely see you. Well, I'll put my headphones back on, but thank you. I'll okay, yeah, no worries. Yeah, come, come back when we have more time, we can discuss some more other things and go more in depth okay thank you for the super chat adam says momo fig uh, fig tree parable <laughs> all right <laughs> well, <I know. laughs> yeah exactly all right guys so everybody the link is pinned at the top everybody shoot over to um david woods live stream if you're watching here on tiktok go over to david woods live stream we are inviting muslims to come up and change our minds, okay? The link in the comment section, if you're in the chat, the link is pinned at the top. So come join us. All the Christians, come join us. Everybody should be funneling over there. There should be already like 2,000 people over there. So he's literally about to start the live right now. So go ahead, get over, hit the link. Andrew Martin keeps putting the link in the comment section as well so that you guys can have it. So everybody head over to that place. Hit the link. Join me and David Wood live. We're talking about how Uthman corrupted Islam and the true story of Muhammad, who was a Christian apostle to the city, to the to the Arabian Peninsula. Come prove us wrong. Come change our minds. So hit the link, hit the link. And by the way, if you haven't done it already, make sure you guys hit the like button on this video. For people who's going to watch this later, hit the like button on this video. Go ahead and do that. But come on through, guys. Go ahead and hit the link. It's it's at the top. There's still a lot of people here. I don't know why. There's still 1,700 people here. Everybody hit the link that's pinned in the top. I'm ending this live, heading over to David Woods Live. All right? Everybody hit the link that's pinned in the top and throughout the comment section. Thank you so much, Jesus is God Apologetics, for another super chat. God bless you, brother Avery in Christ. You're the best teacher. I learn a lot from you. Thank you, brother, for everything. Glory be to God and God alone. All right, guys, I'm in it. The link has been long enough. It's pinned, and they the the uh, you know they keep putting it in the chat. So you guys have it. I'm in this. Head it over. Peace.